Are you tired playing the drop-in OTP games? Do you get frustrated playing with the computer AI? Are you sick and tired of the rage quitters? Ladies and gentlemen, 239 Hockey, 6v6 Hockey for the Xbox One, where we are making hockey great again. Moving along to the number one goal, Dizzy. This is crazy. Look at this guy go. Little inside out move, little underneath, little spin move, wolf back, wolf back, back. He sends it back. I mean, that's great, man. You gotta send that back where it came from. So. We're live. We're live, bitches. That's Hello. Live, bitch. Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Thursday Throwdown. Don't worry, boys. I'm here. The glorious one is here. <laughs> Thursday Throwdown is now hashtag glorious. <laughs> so here we are. Welcome to the very first as sober elitists. They need Clancy, back from Velcro. You smoking some crazy ass shit. You guys scored five fucking goals. I'm not worried about that. Thank you very much. Third of all, when we played the Jager Bomb, we outscored him 11 to 4. Be Crips Skull Game 2. Congratulations. Not worried. Number four, Drift Keeper did a terrible job representing me. And five, he stuck without me. So know that I'm out. Goodbye. I love you all. <laughs> There's a special call-in from yours truly, Daily. So, Clancy, yeah. if you didn't know who Daily was before, you know who he is now. That's a pretty tremendous play right there. First, first goal of the All-Star game, not disappointed at all. Nice little beak and tucked it right around there. Right around Steven, the one who thinks he's deserving of the Vesna. Too much of a newcomer and too uncool Like shadow in the 
feel I battle with it well, though I need a holiday like lady who sung blue Go back, whatever you did, you undo Heavy as heaven, the devil on me, two tons too If you are what you say you are A superstar Then have no fear The camera's here And the microphones And they wanna know Oh, 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 yeah And you better wear your shades The spotlights here can burn holes through the stage Down through the basement past the Indian graves Where the dinosaurs laid And out through China And the Mrs. Airliners Magnified times five This is pointed at the rhyme I ricochets off the moon And sets the forest blaze now that's important to say Cause even with all that Most of us don't want it to fade Duh. We want it to braid Meaning we want it to grow Meaning we want it to stay Like the governor called And he told him to wait Unstrap him from the chair And put him back in his cage sure. The audience ain't phased And they ain't gonna clap And they ain't gonna praise They want everything back That they paid Cause they have been waiting since 10 To see the lights get dim If you are what uh -huh. you say You are a superstar Chauffeur, come and take me away Cause I've been standing in this line for like five whole days Me and security ain't getting along And when I got to the front, they told me all of the tickets were gone So just take me home where the mood is mellow When the roses are thrown, and my limbs are yellow When the light bulbs around my mirror don't flicker Everybody gets a nice autograph picture One for you and one for your sister Who had to work tonight but is an avid listener Every song's a favorite song and mics don't feedback All the reviewers say you need to go and see that and everybody claps cause everybody is pleased And then they all take the stage and stop performing for me Like ha 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 If you are what you say you are A superstar Then have no fear The camera's here And the microphones And they wanna know Oh, oh, oh If you are Season 5 Draft Show. As always, I am one of your hosts, your reigning, defending, undisputed 239 Captain Champ. It is me, it is me, it is X, it is D to the A to the L to the Y. And we have our Season 5 Draft. It is finally, finally, finally here and it is an exciting night. Now, we have a lot to get to. We're only doing about a 45-minute pre-draft show. And then we're going to send you all over to the stream where you'll get to watch the draft show live. So, without further ado, let's get to the panel. We got a big one tonight. Pale, how you doing tonight? I'm doing fucking awesome. It's draft night. It's my favorite night of the week. Favorite night of the fucking season. Draft night, here we go. We got a couple of captains on the show. We got a couple of guys, vets, ready to give you the, their knowledge, their uh, their draft knowledge coming into the night. And uh, maybe even a rookie or two from last season. And uh, so let's throw it around the horn. Mark, a agent, 007, how you doing today? I'm good. I am really, really good, guys. Uh, it's been, it, like Pale said, man, it's my favorite night of the freaking season today. So I'm jacked. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. Um, we have a lot of stuff for you guys, too, um, with the panel going on, with the draft and everything. It's going to be a lot of fun for everybody tonight, and it'll be interesting, to say the least. Um, I'll switch over to the other co-host here uh, with uh, Ability. Oh, well, man, let me tell you what. I am having <laughs> I am having a great night because I am about to draft my first team here at 239. This is going to be one of those moments where hopefully the draft doesn't stop and uh, just puzzleness, wondering what the hell I'm doing. Uh, it's going to be an exciting time. So just remember, all you guys out there, if there's anything you want to get in to me specifically, any words you need to tell me, you need to say them. 
before the draft starts because once this gets going, once it gets going, man, there's no stopping. So, hey, Dear Cortez, how you doing tonight, bro? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. How's everyone here doing tonight? Fantastic, fantastic. Dare, you look good, man. You wear your sunglasses at night. I like it. It's Cortez, for Christ's sake. It's Cortez. I just did that to get under your skin. Visibly, <laughs> visibly annoyed at this moment. We got AC, <laughs> arguably one of the best looking men in 239, back at it with us. AC, how you doing tonight, man? I'm doing awesome, sir. Glad to be here. Uh, excited to be on the draft show, or the pre-draft show. Not going to lie, a little nervous. This is a big, deep draft. And there's a lot of big names out there, a lot of talent. And there's going to be, what, 17, 18 waivers? It's a bit of a nail-biter tonight. That it definitely is. God, you are a very handsome man. And I love (laughs) the Marner jersey in the background, too. I love it. That's my boy. And there's a a Crosby jersey there, too. Okay. Hey, a little Sid the Kid love. And a little bit of a signed Nylander. See, I can't compete with the autographs. I got a couple, but not in the jerseys, man. He's trying to show me up. I like that. He's sexier than me. He's got a better setup than me. Last but not least, one of your hosts from everybody's favorite Friday night show, Sober Elitist. It is none other than Sober Enough. Sober, how you doing tonight, my friend? Doing good, doing good. Looking forward to uh, tipping back some of that, right? Mr. Morgan. (laughs) (laughs) Looking forward to the draft. The captain is strong with that one. Well, that's the panel we got tonight. We got a full slate. Um, I today has just been a crazy day. Um, We decided to take the belt out, the O Dog and I. For all of those who follow me on Twitter, man, we we had a great day. we had to, I had to go out, I had to get a, a new phone, different things, I had to take care of some business, but we made time for the belt. We had a spectacle with it today, but that is just to set us up for the season five draft, and that begins tonight. Now, guys, we've been doing mock drafts for weeks. We've been going over it, we've been puzzled, we've been struggling, we've been confident, we've been crying, we've been trying to figure out what's going to happen with the draft. So. You've heard me speak. You've heard Ability speak. You've heard Pale speak. You've semi-heard Agent speak. (laughs) So what we're going to do is is we're going to send it over to some of the other members of the 239 family, and we're going to ask them what they think of some of the things. So with that being said, this is the first question I have. The first overall pick, Magilla, the OG standard for 239. AC, who's McGilla taking a night at number one and why? That's a good question. And there's a lot of people I think that are value should their value should be considered a first round pick overall. To the point he's going Sanny. I think he's gonna reach back to the old moose days of a guy who can dominate this game when he wants to. I know Sanny had issues with connections a couple years ago. In my opinion, outside of DMART, Sandy is one of the best people that knows this game inside out. I think McGilla knows him from uh, previous leagues, and I think McGilla would not pass up a talent like that for the first overall pick. That is my choice. You, you make a really interesting point, and I said the same thing about Sandy. Sandy knows the game inside and out, and that's it's big. Not, not just IQ, and I, I mean that past the IQ part. I mean the actual physical game that we play physically. Um, he knows all the ins and outs as far as angles and what he can do with his body and contortion and different things like that. So to me, that's huge, and that's kind of an, an, an asset. Number one, I don't know. I haven't seen him play in some years. But Sober, you know Saney, like the back of your hand, man. Do you think that Saney is really a number one overall pick? And, and if not, who's your guy at number one for McGilla? Well, in this draft, I, I don't think Saney would be a number one. I mean, he, like you said, he knows the game inside and out. He always seems to find those little gimmicks that can work really good. Um, I would lean more towards Luca, though. Uh, I think McGill is going to want a center, and I think he's going to want a guy that will play the two-way game, and Luca's is very, very good two-way guy. And he'd okay. need to play that, that middle. <laughs> and I agree. I mean, and that's the thing. I, that's where I got him slayed out even more towards the end of round one. You just have to look at the captains who's picking, but great assessment. I like that. Luke is a safe pick at one, but 
Cortez. That first one was just a troll, man. That's I, all I that, was. <laughs> that was a troll. I had to get you. But at, at pick one, is Luca the safe pick here? Or do you see McGill maybe going outside the box a little bit? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the same thing as Sober said. I'm going to go with Luca. Um, I actually played a few scouting games with Mags there, and uh, he had Luca in every single game. Every time I see them in a party, it's they're in a party together. So I think that's going to be Mags' pick. It's just kind of – like Sober said, you got to solidify the middle of the ice. Good two-way guy. It just I just see him going right there with Mags. Big thing about Luca that no one's really touched on that I like, he's a winner. If you look at every team that he's been on for the most part, he's always there playing games that matter. Um, last year for the Jaeger moms, they're in the postseason. He's the guy who really knows how to win games. So, again, I think that's a very safe pick. I think it's the right pick, too, um, for him. Agent, we haven't heard from you in a while, man. Who who do you like at one to McGilla? And you know McGilla, so I love give it Mags. to me. Everybody knows I love Mags. He's, he's my boy. That was my first captain. So, got a, got a safe relationship with him, man. But um, I think you guys nailed it to a T. I think Luca's the guy you picked because – because he's he, he can help he'll make he make you win. He'll put your team in a spot and make the adjustments and do the right thing, make the right plays. Um, he's just a smart hockey IQ guy. You know he, I think that's a smart play, the safe play, and that's a guy to build a team around. Hundred percent. So let's do something a little different, shall we? <laughs> in these drafts, we always talk about safe picks, okay? And we've run mock from here to here. Let's talk about round one still, and I do want to get to the middle rounds. I don't want to spend too much on round one. Let's get to who's going to be a pick in round one, a player that goes a little bit earlier than they should. I'm going to send this one over to Pale. This is a topic we haven't talked about. Who's going to be a reach pick in round one and why? Uh, You're lighting me up on this one, man. I wasn't prepared for it. but. uh... (laughs) Who's going to go? Um, you know, um, I think I'm going to go Esoteric goes higher than he should. Um, I think Esso is a really good player. I think he is a first-round pick regardless, you know, of how, how deep the draft is. He should be going in the first round. <laughs> but I think he might be going a little bit higher than he should. I think he could go around that number three, number four spot, if you know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> I already said I'm not taking him, but <laughs> But uh, well, yeah, yeah I think ahead, he could ahead. be a little bit of a reach in the top five in this draft. Ability, man, give it to me straight. Who's somebody that's going to go earlier than they should? Well, I heard the name tossed around, and now I w- look. I don't say stuff like to cause emo and to get people anxious and whatever. So prove me wrong if I'm wrong. But I'd say that uh, I've heard no Regretsky's name get thrown out, and he is an awesome player, okay? I played with him. But he's not signing up as goalie. He's signing up as a winger. And in my opinion of watching him play, although a very talented winger, I think I'd put him right outside of round one. So if he ends up going in round one, which I've heard rumors that he may, I think that that might be just jumping the gun a little bit early on that pick. Um but I don't know because he is really good. But, hey, Brian, prove me wrong. So, again, that's an, a, another name that I heard um, as well. Regretsky, I've seen him play a bit. Kid's definitely electric. He can um, change a game offensively. Um, but I think it's going to come down to how many captains have seen him. Dude, I got to do this really quick because now I'm seeing this shit pop up in the top left part of my fucking screen while I'm trying to run this goddamn draft show. Marty McFly has been absent from the captain thread. For literally the whole time. As I've sat here and gave <laughs> just seen that. as I've oh. sat here and gave shock legitimate oh, just fuck. age shit for not even commenting in the captain thread. I have Marty McFly literally joining as D Mark just shit. added the guy. <laughs> Mar- Marty McFly, you are the early season that captain for reasons of just wow. Yep, sober. Drinking That's one the of fault. That's the bag's fault. That was a I mean, lot mother. Of that was a lot of booze. Quote unquote. Like, you guys, fuck? you guys are fucking losers from Marty. <laughs> I mean, this is literally oh, insane. I mean, it's absolutely insane right now. Um, is this me or my screen looks like it's frozen? It might be my iPad. Okay, we're good now. Um, with that being said, um. Marty fucked up. Um, shock, I love you, but like you were AFK for a bit. 
but you're back now, sort of. I'm just happy. He asked for the draft board today. Shout out to Shock, man. He's definitely done, like, some research. So I hope he has a good season. Anyways, fuck, that completely blew my mind when I saw that. I had to say it, so it was a thing. Um, sober. Give me, you know, give me somebody round one may go a little bit earlier than they should. You know, I, I really like the pale, pale conversation there with Esso just because of the whole Hugh Laurie post in that uh, thread that he made for his mock. Daily, you have to take Esso three or four. You have to. <laughs> Just, Dude, just, just to see Hugh draft Swagger with his first pick next season. Okay, so for those who don't know, Hugh Laurie is so con- Yeah, Hugh Laurie is so convinced that I'm not um, taking Esoteric at three or four, which I'm not, by the way, that he actually went on record as saying that if that happened, he would draft pick mm-hmm. Swagger and Dank Love with his first two picks next year. That's what he said. He would be a captain, and he would draft pick Swagger and Dank Love if I took Esoteric at three or four, which I'm not. But if I did, that would happen. So um, that's where all that's from. <laughs> but it's fake news. It doesn't matter anyway. It's completely obsolete. With that being said, um, Dare, Dare, uh, Dare Cortez, who is a guy that may get reached on a little bit in round one? I don't have a specific name, but I think whoever you take at three or four is kind of uh, – I think it's going to be early. And the reason I say it is because obviously you have back-to-back picks. Um, and that's not taking away anything from the person that's picked at three or four. I just say that you have two different positions to pick from. Um, and also, you like to be that guy that's like, oh, I, I have a good team, and no matter who they are, they're they're going to be good as long as they're around me, all that kind of thing. So I just think whoever you take at three or four, like I said, like I don't have a specific name. Maybe I could join the whole SO bandwagon, but I, I'm convinced you're not taking them. But either way. I think whoever you take at three or four is going to be kind of an early, uh, early reach kind of guy. Wait, I, is I, my? I do you know. guys really? Is this the view everybody in the league views me as having this super big ego, but that I would sabotage my whole you draft? Ego just, daily, really? Come on. <laughs> 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 Anyways, man, you're gonna to have to tune in tonight, nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That's when the draft's going to be. Mr. Hollywood, Esoteric himself, and Yambag will be giving you your pre draft or your draft analysis live on twitch.tv backslash sniper. For those of you not knowing where to find this information, like, oh my God, where is everything? Oh, I suck. Like, it's five hours before, or five minutes before the draft. What do I do? <laughs> it is in the forums. Under the main forum, you'll be able to find all the information in one thread. You can actually watch all the information in one thread because, guys, we have this brand new amazing site that self-embeds the videos when you post the links. It's Boner Jams 2006, but we are much more advanced than that, so it's fantastic. You can literally watch it right in that thread. But we are talking pre-draft. Middle rounds. That's where we're at. AC, who's the name that you can see making a big impact in the middle rounds? So this name I don't think should be a middle round guy, but all the talk of all these other people has been pushing him down there is Dalai Lama. Of all the mock drafts, I have not seen this man's name mentioned in the first round, which blows my mind. We're talking a guy who was comparable to DeMart in the playoffs, who I argued on at nauseum to be considered the MVP for the playoffs. How this man's not even anybody's mock draft in the first round is just mind-blowing. I don't think he should be down in a lower middle draft, but I think that's where he's going to fall. And if he's in that, that's going to be an absolute steal for that captain. And that was the thing. I'll tell you the biggest thing about Dolly's availability is he does the two overnight days. And this is somebody who captained him to a season four championship. But... It came into sort of a problem, missing the Sundays, missing the uh, Wednesdays, I believe it was. So really, you have three days. So if you're refusing a Sunday or Wednesday, he definitely, like I said, with AC, he, I had him last year. He is definitely a uh, late first or early second talent. I think to go past, that would be absolutely asinine. Um, but uh, I think that may be why people are seeing him push down the list. But I don't know. I can't speak on behalf of the others. Ability, mid-round guy, without giving up too much, that's going to make a big impact this year. Hmm... There's going to be a ton of them because a majority of the teams are going to be compiled with these guys. Um, I don't know if I had to pick one. I honestly, I don't want to say the name because, man, this guy's already got like a huge head. Like it's almost as big as yours daily. And it, part of that might be your fault. 
I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say Dare Cortez. And I say this because this guy, he's, yeah. he's got some game. And uh, I have, I've seen him play up front. Um, I've seen him play on D and he excels really at all parts of the ice. Um, I, I think this could be a year where he makes a statement. He's come a long way since last season, uh, but branching out away from um, Santeria, I think that this is going to be his season to really shine and solidify, uh, solidify himself as, you know, an all-star player in the league. I just don't know to what extent, but I'm excited to see it. You think you got what it takes? Ability. I love you. Uh, I actually really appreciate that. I didn't expect my name to come up. So I, I do I do look forward to the season. I think uh, a little bit of change of scenery for what's up front. Maybe maybe if I'm up front or maybe I'm at defense, let's, I'm most likely probably going to go at D like I probably should. But uh, maybe a change of scenery for who's up front may bring a little bit more out of my game. Maybe, maybe it might be different, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I Thank you for the kind words again. I really appreciate that. So humble when getting a compliment. I love that. <laughs> Well, really I mean, I mean, yeah. listen, he, he, he's not like every time we're in a party, I do sit there and like, we just kind of go back and forth at each other, but it's always in good faith. Like it's always, uh, I, I love the guy. He, he does a lot. And he's, I, I look forward to seeing what his team's going to be like as well. So cool. it's like, I, I mean, it's not being humble. I, I mean, well, it is being humble, but it, it's not a big deal. I like to give compliments uh, to people before they have to call me. <laughs> Captain. <laughs> listen, hey, listen. To him. Listen, man, this is this is great. Um, I'm glad I've been able to sit in the middle of this fucking circle jerk right here. But with that being said, we need to move along with the show here. I don't need anybody's little babies floating on my face right now. I'm done with all that. So we're going to move on. By the way, this show is supposed to be PG, but it never happens. I'm sorry, Dale, you traded out of a spot where you can get me. Don't, oh. don't. That's because I see so much value in what I'm picking. <laughs> it just don't matter. And all I can think about are the little... Swimming babies right now. Anyways, we're going to move along here. Um, round five. Round four to five, let's say. Give me a sleeper pick, man. Who's somebody that you've seen? Without giving away too much, I'm not going to ask the captains. Sober. Who's a guy who fell down the draft list, probably shouldn't have fell down the draft list, and is going to make an impact in round four or five? You know, I, I think I said this on our show last Friday. I tend to believe it's going to be any goalie taken in round four or five, like late round four, early round five, uh, because that means the captain went through and got top guys at every position and then went with the goalie. So the goalie might be a little lesser known, might not be the Crips and the Stevens and all those guys, but it's going to be a goalie that's going to be very serviceable with a very good team of pros. Yeah. Oh, and this just in from Mr. Hollywood, Jim Flanagan. He wants to know why everybody's talking about Odd Guy, Dolly, Rome, and Daly, and nobody's talking about Thamps. I'm going to ask the AC, you've seen a guy like Thamps. You've played in leagues with him. Where does a guy like Thamps fall in this draft? Is he a fourth, fifth, or is he second, third? Where do you see a guy like that falling? In this draft, third. In a normal draft, second. I think that's a fair assessment. And, and, and you know, again, it's, it's not a slight to Thamps. We love Thamps. Thamps is a great player, by the way. Um, but people are remembering that last playoff series, and Dolly had a great run, and Odd Guy had a great, great run. Thamps was so integral to the first two series when we were maybe struggling offensively, he was there. So I think that's unfortunately why that name is getting thrown out. You haven't heard a lot about Drift either. Drift didn't have a great finals, but he was great um, – the rest of the playoffs and the whole fucking season, but he wasn't great in the finals. So you're not hearing that name nearly as much. Um, but again, shout out to Mr. Flanagan, AKA wow. Mr. Hollywood, Jim Flanagan. You think I'd have that figure. The guy has 19 names, so you're bound to fuck them up. Like you're in an email thread with him and there's 20 names that he goes by. So sorry, not sorry. Anyways, pale round four or five. You're not even in the goddamn round five. So who's the guy making an impact late in this draft? Uh, I am in round five. I'm at number 55. But, uh, that's oh, fine. I stand corrected. Mm. Um, I like Sober's answer, but I'll give a different one. Um, I think uh, <clears throat> there's a guy that I brought in. He was on a team last season. He didn't get to play a whole lot. Um, Wizzy War is his gamer tag. And I think he can be a guy that can really contribute to somebody's roster as like a third forward as a guy that can really um, be a solid player. 
you know, he's not a guy that's going to light up the scoreboard and he's not a guy that's going to, you know, be able to carry a team's offense, but you're not picking one of those guys in round five. That's just not going to happen. Um, but I think he can be a solid contributor for somebody up front um, in that in that fifth round, in that role of just being a supportive player. He's got a he's got a good hockey IQ. He knows where to go, find space and and find open ice, and he can make plays. Um, yeah, that's that's my guy in round five. And nobody remembers this, but I do because I did the voiceover for a top 10. I think it was week four or five last season. He had a crazy number one play for whoever's team he was on. I forget who it was, where he literally dangled everybody. And I believe it was Mr. Cortez on the back end of that one and getting absolutely. We, we don't talk about that. We don't, we don't talk about he, that. We, he got. Come on. Agent, you're on the same team, pal. Dangled your ass too. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's just say ODS had a rough goal in that number one clip, but there was a lot of day. I couldn't even keep up with the day. It's the number two clip. Number two. I'll I'll save a little bit of a. Oh, it was number two. two. Okay, number two. Number two. That's because, um, yeah, they must have been drunk when they were picking the numbers. But, anyways, it was awesome, to say the least. (laughs) Ability. Who in round four or five could you see making an impact this season? Um, I'm not going to answer that question. (laughs) <laughs> round, four and five, round four and five are the most pivotal rounds in this entire draft. And there's no way I'm giving any of you guys an ounce of anything. I haven't mentioned it this entire time, and I, I can't do it now. I love you guys so much, though. Good luck tonight. Listen, we all, know, we all know Ability has been doing his homework. I want to talk about a certain captain, though, who's also been doing his homework and just apparently showed up to the captain's red. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a mid, a mid burp there. I'm going to give some advice from a champion. When you want specific players, just saying, don't lock your party and invite the same people into it every single night because there's a really good chance that you are going to give away, Marty McFly, your whole draft. And maybe because of that, a certain person might trade into picks three and four (laughs) <laughs> because he knows exactly who you want, and he knows exactly where he can get those players, one who plays right D and one who plays left wing. Think about that for future captains. This guy made it to the finals, but he showed his hand, and now he's scrambling. He's scrambling because he has this itch. He so has this does feeling this mean that- you play right wing? I'm not going to confirm or deny this. I am you just said it was from right D and a left wing. You just said it was from right D and a left wing. I am, listen, I am confirming this for the masses. When you captain, if you ever captain in the future, and there are people that you are – do not be so obvious. Marty, Rob, I love you, man. Thank you for finally joining the captain's chat. You are inadvertently messing with my entire draft right now. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. We're talking about round four and five. We're talking about a tip to the masses. Guys, we are literally 30 minutes away from the season five draft. Now, I'm going to send it over to the drunk one, sober. <laughs> and here is right about it. He's working it. He's getting there. I want to sup- – what's – something's going to happen tonight, guys. Whether it's Tomahawk taking Joey Stopa at six, something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. Something is going to sober. I want something off the wall. Just give me a fucking guess what's going to happen tonight. Anything. Something. And you can say you getting drunk, passing out, and not seeing the draft. I would be okay. (laughs) No, I'm going to say that – you know, the word through the grapevine is uh, Ability's team and DJ's team might be the two on the outside looking in when it talks, you know, in comparison of good teams, bad teams, yada, yada, yada. I have a just a sneaky hunch that one of those two are going to be in the top four of the league. Okay. Okay, I like it. That's kind of the direction I was going. Uh, agent, I, I, ha- I think – my pick for the night, I'm going to send this, is Agent has four picks in a row. And they touched on it briefly on 239 tonight. And by the way, 
We have a new show, and I touched it last week, 239 tonight, Monday or Tuesday, date still up, or day of the week still up in the air. Derek Cortez, a big friend and guest of the Thursday Throwdown, and none other than the young gun, Cosmic Fade, have a new show rolling out to you every single week. I listened to it last night. I hope you guys got a chance to listen to it. It is phenomenal. They briefly talked about the four picks as well. I think that could make or break this whole freaking thing to watch somebody take four dudes take his whole damn team because agent's probably going goalie in round five like most of them to take four your five-man unit by pick 28 is going to completely alter this whole entire draft agent are you ready for this pressure because there's a lot of four in a row dude i I don't know. I'm, I'm ready and I'm not. It's tough. I mean, it, it, the draft is going to be really weird. That's the easiest way to put it because there's some there's a lot of people, not a new guys that joined that. Some people already know. Some people just got to know them. You know, a lot of stuff from prior. I wasn't even a part of the league when some of these guys played and they left and now they're back or, you know. Um, I think there's going to be some stretch picks throughout those first 25 picks or whatever, 20 picks that I might not understand and it might be the best thing for that captain, but I – my draft is really going to depend on who falls, like who's there. You know, it's, it's awesome. I'm really looking forward to being able to have five guys on my team that fast and the guys I want. But it's it's going to be weird. It's going to be tough to say exactly what's going to happen because you don't know who's going to be there. It's a long, long wait before my first pick. That is the safest fucking answer <laughs> ever. Ever. And he um, can start to run. I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it. it. I'll allow it. But I mean, that was safe. That was safe, man. Um, ability. Since you won't tell me a round four or five sleeper, can you give me something crazy that's going to happen tonight? Because something is, man. I just can feel it. I, I something's going to happen, man. What's it going to be? Give me something. Oh, crazy stuff. There's going to be a lot of crazy stuff. I mean, I can make predictions right now as to what's going to happen after the draft, too. Some, some of these guys are, uh, aren't going to get drafted, and I think that for most of us, you know, that's no big deal. We'll play the wa- waiver wire. We're going to introduce things for the waivers. Um, that's going to be a thing. Um, but as far as, like, somebody getting picked up that maybe shouldn't, I think the bigger story tonight is going to be the people that should have got picked up that don't. Um, and that's – like I said earlier in the chat box, man, um, I wish I could draft all of you because I love all of you, man. I love playing pickup games with you guys. Uh, I love hanging out in the parties and just chatting it up. So um, I don't know what kind of crazy stuff's going to happen, but I can tell you if you get too carried away with that three and four and it affects my draft, I'm never going to forgive you. Well, <laughs> let's, not, let's not forget. Let's oh, not forget. he's going to hold a fucking grudge for sure. Listen, listen man. Listen, listen. I set a left wing, and I set a right D. We'll all be gone three four. Okay, I just you know take that for what you will. <laughs> <sighs> I love it's it, trans- Andy. It's I pretty transparent it. what you're getting at. I, yeah, whatever. You know, <laughs> we're gonna see what happens, man. Breaking news. Uh, there's always a re- there's always a re- I like system guys, man. Right? I like system guys. So we'll see what happens. If your guy fits fits my I'm system. Done. <laughs> if, if, seriously, if, if your draft affects my draft, I'm going to hit the gym day and night and look like Hulk Hogan by the time our competition is. <laughs> no, we, uh, I'm coming after you, bro. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. You're going to find out in T minus 24 minutes the draft goes live. So, Pale, I'm going to send it to you, man. Do you have any questions for the panel? Anything to throw out the guys for uh, the upcoming draft tonight? Yeah. So, um, Sober, I mean, you've been a captain before. Um, how high do you think is too high for a goalie to go in your draft? Uh, that's 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 hard because you got people, especially in this draft, where there's so many damn trades you can't keep up with. Um, that if you're a guy like Asian, you could take a goalie early because that's when you draft your whole freaking team. So you might as well take a goalie early, right? Um, me personally, unless I get one of the top two, I am not touching goalie until four or five. Okay. So to follow that up, who are your top five goalies in this draft? It's a position that's not really talked about a whole lot. Who's your top five? Who's your top five guys? Mm. 
Well, Crips, Crips is one. I know that's going to send Steve into a freaking chaos. Okay, put it back. All right, Crips is number one. Uh, Steve would probably be my number two. I don't know if he's even playing goalie this season. He has it listed. Okay, so he's most likely going to be playing goalie. Um, and then, you know, then you got some guys that are coming back to play goalie, like like Shock is coming back to play goalie. He's been doing really well from what I've been told. Um, God, after the first two, it's really hard. It's, yeah, I, all right, me, all right. Give me three. Lot. Give me, give me one more. <laughs> to me, they're all the same. I mean, um, shit. I'll, I'll say, I'll say thirty-seven because I know he has it in him. I know he plays a lot. I know he doesn't like this year's game so far, but I know he'll adjust for it. AC, you any different? How, how's your top five rounding out for goalies? Top five for goalies. Uh, B Crips, um, a goalie that a guy that I think is a top five goalie that may not be drafted for it is Tom's. He was a goalie on Wolfpack, and that guy's insane in net. I get it, that he's really good in net, and he's really good as a defenseman. And he's good as a forward. So you got Tom's, you got Drift, you got B Crips. Um, there's so many captains that could be goalies too, right? Chu, but he's the captain. Trying to think. Guys. Guys, there's a name that's not getting thrown out in the goalie talk. Master Shot Gone. Chicken. That's Master good. Master Shot was that, was that chicken? Gone. He was a very <laughs> integral part to um, – what was that? To, oh, oh, it was Pale's team last Might season. Have been. Is, that, is that your team, Pale? Now they had a nice run. Couldn't get it done. Had a nice run, but Master Shotgun should be valued and drafted as a top five goalie. Um, that's a guy that I personally really, really like um, in this draft. And Hollywood. I don't want to get. And Hollywood is another one. And that AC, you read my mind because that was another guy I was getting to. His sign up is a little AZ. No Sunday Mondays potentially, but the skill set is there to be great. So that's another guy that I like on the draft. Sorry, didn't mean to steal it. But you guys had me all bent, so I figured I would pitch in. Back to pale. No worries, no worries. Cortez, you got anything else to throw in there? Who, who There's a think? name you guys are all forgetting. All right. It's DJ. 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 He's a great goalie. I mean, the guy's he's, a a great, he's, he's a captain, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like now, yeah. Um, obviously, I still would go with like the whole B Crips, Steven. Uh, Chu is a good goalie, but again, captain. Master Shotgun, another good goalie. But. DJ, when I even even if he's a captain, I do think he's going to end up in net, and I think that's a strong thing for his team. Um, he put up great numbers. Just he, he was put back in goalie in the later half of the season, but he just put up great numbers in the last half of that season, and he even stole the first two games of our playoff series that we ended up losing. And I think Daly can attest to that any day. Like he he stole the first two games for us. He's he's a great goalie. I think he should be in that talk, even with him being a captain, of course. But still, yeah, you know, I need to give a shout out to somebody, man. Uh, you ready for this? Shout out got? to Dank. Shout out to Dank Love, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because if Dank Love wasn't such a piece of shit last year, these guys would not have banded together and made such a tight knit bond. Agent and DJ and Court, all these guys are tight knit. So shout out to Dank Love, man, creating friendships since NHL <laughs> seven. Greg, <laughs> I still love you. I mean. <laughs> I, Dank, man, I'm not a part you. of that. I had, to get, I had to get my shot in there, man. We still love you, dude. It was a good season, you know, but, you know, you got to show up for the last couple games when it happens. It's whatever. But, guys, so remember how I was saying what's going to happen tonight, what's going to be fucked up, right? Well, as soon as I say that, I pass it over to Pale. I'm like, let me check my fucking Twitter, right? You know, so I look at my Twitter. Shock's been AFK for 96 years heading into this draft. <laughs> Can't find the guy. And all of a sudden – he decides to send this at old dad 21 pay attention to the draft something is coming and you know what do we got another tomahawk so we jope on our hands pale does this worry you man I, the guy asked for the fucking draft board this morning now he's telling me to watch out what do we got pale give it to me straight man no, nah, it doesn't worry me, and it probably doesn't really worry Shock either because, I mean, let's be real. He goes into the draft, and he picks the guys that are his guys. You know, there's, like, Drug Monkey, there's Ozzy, there's Clancy, there's Pogs. You know, he's not going to be able to get all of them, of course, 
But Shaq's got this stable of guys that he continuously goes to, and he puts out a competitive team. So, you know, he's looking at the draft uh, now. He hasn't made any moves. He's in that mid spot. He's at number five pick, um, which is a great spot to be in, in my opinion. And, you know, I, I, I think Shock's draft strategy doesn't really change much from season to season. I, I think he's got the same group of guys that he normally is ready to play with. Pick our uh, ability. What do you think, man? Um. What was the question? <laughs> okay, <laughs> can where I, I'm at right now. I am, I'm so guys, lost. Guys, Look, guys. I got to be honest. I got a lot going on here. over here. This is an important night for me. I, I'm working through the ropes over here. <laughs> well, here's the thing. We're, we're up against it, man. I threw this on for a reason. Because after hearing all this and ability, I don't know. I need you to remind you the standard bear. I need to remind you what your playing for i need to remind you what you're after all this i don't know what i'm doing right now you better <laughs> fucking figure it out someone you save a screenshot from that out. please someone yeah. save a screenshot from you this better... please that. <laughs> i'm sure that'll be showing up on abilities board at all time oh, but you need to <laughs> understand <laughs> this is what you're coming for except it's not the real thing but this is it Oh, my God, things just took a turn <laughs> for the worst. Mr. Colin Cameron, a.k.a. Chaos Rider, a.k.a. Build a Wall, a.k.a. Shock. You guys turn your video on. We're waiting for your video, and we're waiting for you to explain yourself. <laughs> explain explain myself. yourself. You're not on video. Are you going to come on video? Oh, there, there you are. There he is. Finally. Listen, man, I've been quite the critic on you the last oh, couple of weeks, <laughs> and you have been sitting there <laughs> pumping away Destiny 2, Twitch streaming for hours and hours, <laughs> but you have been busy, 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 but too busy for the 239. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> what you haven't seen is I've been busy behind the scenes as well. Mm, well, so. so you've been scouting? Yes, I have. Okay, okay. All right, fair enough. He just <laughs> went completely AFK ghost in the chat. I had Second to reel him in. And all the while, I'm giving him shit, and Marty McFly's nowhere to be fucking found. The guy's not even in there. So, you know what, man? Shot the shock. It's the night. He's here. We're there. It is time. Guys, we're 15 minutes up against it. I told you we're going to do the show early. I'm giving everybody one more rip, one more round, starting with Pale Poner. What do you have for us going into the draft? That is 15 minutes away. I'm just fucking pumped, man. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. I've got my draft sheet ready. I've got my lists ready. I've got position by position breakdown. I got an overall breakdown. I got a mock. I'm, I'm excited. This is one of my favorite times of the season. Um, you know, the whole site's active. You know, there's a bunch of people watching the stream. I'm just excited, man. It, this is going to be a good night. It's going to be a fun night. Hopefully, my team can get some practice in tonight after the draft. That's that's what I'm ready for, man. Agent. Mr. I picked four picks in a row. Give me your last statement. I hope you guys don't fuck up. That's all I got to say. I got a, <laughs> I got a serious plan, and uh, it's gonna be, that, this is going to be good. That was the most passive fucking chirp ever. I hope don't fuck up. Really, really <laughs> fuck up. Oh my god, AC man, what do you give me something, man, on the way out here? So, to your earlier question, what's the craziest thing that's going to happen tonight? My prediction is draft around five will be more important and will be the winning or losing pick for a championship. Round one will mean nothing. Good thing I don't pick in five. That's fantastic because I picked three and five, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's not necessarily a great thing either. That's a great analysis, AC. You know what you're talking about. Shock, man. I'm giving you the bit here. Leave me with something good. All right. Well, from what I've seen, the draft pool itself this season is really deep. So, like AC had said, I think those most decisive picks are going to be in the fourth and fifth round. And... I believe that there is more than enough sleepers in that round that I even think some sleepers are going to fall to waivers. Oh, I like to hear you say that. <laughs> Sober, what do you got, man? You know, fuck, I don't know. Um, 
<laughs> great way to start. The, great way to start the statement. Right there. Oh, Thank God he's not captaining. We're okay, sober. Let's try again. Please give me something. Something. How far is Yam gonna fall? <laughs> I, I, I had to throw it out there. Nobody's touched on that yet. He's, he's in the draft pool for the first time in this league. Let's see how far he goes. I might, ta- I might take him if he's there, man. If he's optionals. at 52, I might take him. The thing hey, is, is a winger? Optionals. What happens if he does fall all the way through? What will happen? Oh, well, shit. His <laughs> personal gonna pride be- is going to be hurt. Hey, okay. Hansel has him going 60th. I mean, shit. <laughs> Your They're- Marine Mike of season <laughs> number five is <laughs> Captain Ballback. <laughs> Hey, to be fair, sober Hansel didn't even have me going in the draft, so I mean, I, I don't even know what's going yeah, on. I, I, I don't think the hey, listen, guys, Hansel's a big fan of the show. I think you drink more than I do. Three, not, yeah, he Hansel had a rough day today. That was not some of his best work. So shout out to Hansel. We need to work on that. We'll talk later. Not some of his best work. Dare Cortez, leave me with something, man. I just I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see who puts together what teams and. Um, I really hope some new rookies coming into the league aren't overlooked. Uh, I have one that's specifically a close friend, so I hope he gets picked up to a team because whatever team gets him is going to do pretty well. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. And just to let everyone know on the way out, uh, 239 tonight, we're going to have a live show tomorrow night after the kind of like catch up on the whole draft and everything, and that will kind of be like the start of it being live. And I'm not sure if it will be on the YouTube yet or a Twitch page, but just thought I'd let everyone know that. Cool. And hey, when you get that information, yeah, when you get that information, I'll talk to Pixel Man. We'll get a 239 tonight section in the media section. So you guys will be able to post everything that you need Perfect. for that. It'll be super official at that point. Shout out to the Rock, man. Rock, man, we, we fucking love you. This guy's doing great things. For hey, us. Dale, can you yeah, shout out. What? Can I jump in real quick? Oh, I now got... you got something to fucking say. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're <laughs> we're not asked to be able to ask you shit. So, I mean, fine. Oh, okay. Okay. Nah. So, so I, I'm just wondering, did you write up a captain's scouting report like you did back in season two for this season? Oh, for the new ones? Yeah. Well, fuck no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Listen, man. Here's the thing. See, Sober doesn't tell you this, but the season two Thundercats was a direct correlation to my analysis. But he never told me One guy. That shit. One guy. <laughs> One guy who's the best in the world. Yay. <laughs> he he played like nine like games. That. <laughs> well, whatever. He's like, we want a cup. So that happened, whatever. No, I'm, just, I'm just wondering if, if, you, if you did I that. I didn't. No, no. This is all. Hey, I'm trying to repeat, man. I ain't helping. Not in a 12 team. 100 fucking players. You guys are all on your own. Hey. Ability. Give me something, man. All right. So first things first here. These guys, we got we got Hollywood, Esso, and Yambag. They're going to be doing the draft show. Now, if you guys want to watch this, I'm just going to give you the info. The, the feed is... The feed is going to be on uh, Twitch TV slash Sniper0270 slash. So you can go check out uh, Sniper's uh, feed. He's going to be doing the broadcast with these guys. Um, moving forward, though, going into this draft, I want everyone to know. Okay, I love all of you. Some of you I'm going to pick, and you might be like, ability? What the? And others I'm going to pick, and they're going to be like, yeah, ability. Sweet. All right. Look, you're playing on the sweetest team, Okay. There's a secret going on here. It's a victorious secret, and I've got it. We're taking daily. I need all of you to be team players here, and everybody I can't draft that I want to draft, I love all you guys. So, Dale, you can wrap it up for us. I got business to attend to. He's, he's ready to rip, man. By the way, in case anybody who G-chats me is wondering, that is my picture. It is Yanbag's mug in a rape ski mask, and it will be my G-chat picture probably forever um those guys are going to be doing the big thing over there tonight oh god um guys again so if you didn't catch it it's twitch.tv backslash sniper 2070 if you can't remember that like some of us can't zero two seven zero (laughs) zero two seven zero that is also on the xbox um i'm sorry it is on uh, the website uh main forum we did a whole post earlier make sure you check that out also Mac North will be bringing you preseason power rankings. He will be doing those tomorrow. Those will be starting up. Um, He'll do the preseason, and then he will do them every single week. Shout out to Mac North. Just some more content for you guys here at the site. With that being said, it is the draft. There is nobody more prepared than me. You are all going down. 
The repeat is in order for your reigning, defending, undisputed 239 captain champion. With that, get your asses over to the draft show. And it's time to go to war, boys. With that being said, season five draft, pre draft show is complete. We'll see you guys on Thursday for the throwdown. Peace. Peace. Hey, the sugar baby, saw you twice at the pop show. You taste just like glitter mixed with rock and roll. I like you a lot, lot. Think you're really hot, hot. No, you think you're special when we dance real crazy. Glamophonic, electronic, disco, baby. I like you a lot, lot. All we want is hot, hot. Boys, boys, boys. We like boys in cars. Boys, boys, boys. Buy us drinks in bars. Boys, boys, boys. We're the first in now. We're boys, boys, boys. We love them. Sneakers. Let's go see the killers and make out in the bleachers I like you a lot, lot, think you're really hot, hot Let's go to the party, heard our body's the DJ Don't forget my lipstick, I left it in your ashtray I like you a lot, lot, all we want is hot, hot Welcome everybody, 239 Draft Night, it's here, I'm Esoteric, Yambag's with me, Ballbag, how you doing? Got a couple beers uh, lined up, ready to go, shout out Joe Thornton. 
Shout out to Joe, who pulled himself out of the draft. And shout out to Hollywood, Jim Flanagan. That's Roy Esoteric. It's the five time, five time, five time, five time, five time around here. 239 hockey, fifth season, season number five. I'm pumped up, man. I don't know about you guys, man. All these promos, all these 239 videos, the draft promo, man. The photos, the welcome to the island, the draft uh, photos, man. All these mock drafts. The pre-draft video we just saw, but now, now, ladies and gentlemen, this is time. It's time. We're going to see it, man. We're going to win this. Number one pick is about, you know, seconds on the clock, So, How you doing? Look at this, man. Holly, the damn dirty apes are on the clock. And there it is. Your number one pick is Stealth Luca D. No surprise. That's right. Not at all, man. Not at all, man. Everybody's mock draft on there. Everybody's pick. They've been talking about it weeks after weeks, man. Stealth Luca as the number one, and there we go, man. Oh, he's in there, man, and that's a that's the perfect guy to start off your team with, in my opinion. Yambag, would you have taken anyone else there? Uh, I don't know. Light the lamp's pretty good. Um, can't go wrong with Luca, though, man. He's a, he's a stud. So, uh, yeah, he is. He's my guy, man. If pick. I'm picking number one in this draft, I do exactly what Magilla did right there. He's, he does it all. He does it all. He's never going to score. I mean, I shouldn't say that. He might score 100 points, but that's not really what you're looking for from Luca, in my opinion. You're looking for that elite two way and, and uh, you know, so forth. Um, fuck Holly. What do you think, man? You loving it? Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, fucking Stealth Luca. I, I heard Hanzo Roberto already got the 239 Insider Magazine going for the cover of the next magazine right there, man. Your number one. Who's your number pick. two? <laughs> there he is. Light the lamp. He's off the board. Number two. number two. Yeah, no surprise, man. No surprise. We no. knew it was going to be an XPS guy, man. Uh, you know, there was a couple names thrown out, but light the lamp, man. Last time was number three overall this season. He's back, man. Back in the uh, 239 hockey, man. He's got one uh, championship under him, man. He's going for uh, championship number two here, and here uh, second and overall. Here. And here he is, man. He's on the clock, damn. What is this piece oh, of yeah. shit going to do? Uh, I mean, what... daily. What is he going to do? Caesar. This is what I was waiting for. Caesar. We're yeah, going to find out here. I got c do. Uh, esoteric, you... man. You sweating out over there or what, man? He's, He's not. Taking his time he, too. This guy's a piece of shit, man. He'll throw his friends under a river to win anything, dude. He ain't taking me here. Oh, he ain't taking me here. I'll tell you that. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. I'm waiting for it. I haven't seen it yet. Have you guys seen it? Oh man, I see it now. I, I don't see it yet. So? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are idiots. I told you all it was going to happen. I told you it was going to happen. Nobody I wanted to listen it, to this guy. Listen, Daly knows what he's doing, man. This is why he wins year in and year out. He knows who he can play with. Look, uh, you guys, man, yeah. I'm telling you, this was a big mistake giving him three and four. And uh, you want to call it too early. You want to call it a reach. You want to go on the throwdown and call it whatever you want to call it. You're going to call us winners at the end of the season. That's what's going to happen. Now, let's see where he goes with four. Hey, one guy that's not so happy right now, Mr. Hugh Laurie, man. Mm. Yeah. He's, mm -hmm. Not only did he sign up for captain next season, but he signed to take swagger and uh, dank. Kudos to him. Kudos, man. Hey, dude, I, like I told Hugh, I told him it was going to happen. I told him it was going to happen, and I also said, hey, those are two great guys to start your team off with. Are you kidding me? They uh -oh. bury the puck. 90 points last year for Dank. Brick City. Wow. Brick City. Daily goes Brick City. Hold on. <laughs> Welcome to putting it in Brick City. <laughs> Welcome to the champs, son. Yeah, my so, thing was uh, you just let SO uh, predict the next picks here, man. For the rest of the draft. Man, man. I'm gonna <laughs> I mean, so far, I'm, I'm what? I'm four for four. You're on the money. You're on the money, man. I'm on the oh money. God. All right, my next pick, man, for shock, this is Drug Monkey. It's coming. I'm, I feel it. What think do you guys so? think? Is he playing net or what? If he's playing net, I, <sighs> I think so. 
I'm not sure, man. Shock's been a little AFK. So I, I heard he was playing center. I also heard he was playing net. So I really don't know what the truth is there. But I think either way, he's going with Drug Monkey, that elite defense. Let's see what he does. I got to close cap in the chat because I'm seeing this shit before you guys see it. <laughs> Yeah, oh, big pick is. here, man. Oh, my God. Esso, man, we, we got to take go to Vegas here or something. Yeah. Okay. Esso's five for Rugs five, up. if anyone's fucking counting. Listen, this is oh, the pick no. for Shock, dude. He gets his elite right defender, whether he plays goal or center. This is a huge pick. Um, it's the right pick, too. Everyone says, oh, it's his boy. Fuck that. It, it has nothing to do with him being his boy. Maybe a little bit, but um, that's the guy right there at five, in my opinion. Oh, by the way, if you want to know who six is, it's going to be Moose. That's Sidhu? Nope. Nope. Really? No, nope. it's gonna be no, Moose. Gonna be oh, Damn man, it, Drunk Monkey cool tried too, to uh, try to go down that draft pool, man. <laughs> but no. I know he, he tries all the time, man. But you know, Drug Monkey, if you're listening, here's here's some advice. If you want to move down the draft list, start to suck. Okay. Oh. Huh. Why don't you guys announce the next pick? Oh, uh, it looks like it's Moose. <laughs> Hmm. Can we just shut the, six for just six. Shut the draft down and let you pick the teams, or what? You want to know the next one? Uh, yeah, I know the next one. Come on. See do. But we all need the next one. It's see do. Yeah, we need that. Uh, Gotta be. Gotta be. I see. But Moose is a good pick for Chew Therapy. These guys are boys. Um, you know, Moose, uh, Moose brings the offense and the defense, uh, both sides on a, on a thin left defense. So um, that makes sense for me. You guys feeling that pick for Chew? Is is Chu yeah. playing goalie or not? Is he playing out? No. Playing out. No. No. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, Moose is a stud D man, so you can't go wrong either way whether he's playing center or not. Yep, I agree. The, I agree. the draft board has him lifted as a left wing here, but um, yeah. I don't think that's legit. But but not only that, man, that lefty spot with Moose, man, and you know, uh, I, I look at a lot of the lefty position you know that's got to be one of the top if not the top left defenseman on the draft pool i agree i agree taking a while for marty's pick here yeah we're waiting mm. for marty now what if marty takes a uh, saney ezreal do i don't think so man and, uh... here hey, you want to hear a call you want to hear a call i think he takes the power couple i'm just throwing it out there nah, that's my call <laughs> Okay. I, I just. I just yeah. mm -hmm. All right, man. Well, uh, that's just well, my call. I mean, so far I'm six for six. Well, last time as captain, Valley. Morty McFly went the defensive way, man. He went with uh, defensive way. I don't know if he does the same here. Else. Yeah, but mm. we're gonna can't find play out. November November third to the twelfth, and no Sundays or Wednesdays. That's pretty rough. That's got mm. the second round written all over it. Yeah, I, he might be right. I'm gonna get one wrong eventually, boys. I don't know when, but. I mean, I did tell you. I told you, Hugh Laurie. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a rough I season. I fucking told you. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm more excited that Hugh's locked in as a captain already. You, you, down. Hugh's mock draft ain't looking so hot, man. <laughs> you know whose is? Mine. That's why they hire me, man. That's why I'm doing this shit. That's I don't why know where. Admin. Shout out for us to his no, admin. I am not. In, I am not an admin. First and I, foremost. I got a banner that says otherwise for you. Yeah, well. Everyone who disagrees can, um, that Esso's not an admin, like this video. Yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm very good friends with Duroc, and he can remove banners for me. He's He I likes me, man. He'll do it. it. Can we confirm that was him who did that? Yeah, we, we can't do that shit. He's a high-tech guy. Hey, shout out to the Duroc, man. He fucking is like, this, this site's just ridiculous. Yep. It, it's, it's, it's fantastic, and, uh... Uh, we have the privilege of seeing back here uh, the draft board and the captains uh, and how they're picking and stuff, and uh, it, it's awesome. It, uh, it, you can see how the teams are forming and everything uh, as they as they go along. You know, I'm looking at Team Magilla, Team Desired Customs, Team Daily, so forth. Um, it's pretty cool what he did back here. It's funny because he did all this in like what, like two months. Two months? And like, it's yeah. like top yeah. anything we've had hey. in like a decade, literally. <laughs> yeah. In the in the chat there, in the in the chat there, Joe was questioning that Rome uh, would have been a much better pick than Brick for uh, Dale's there at number four. We think about that, so. I don't think so oh, because I think King. Oh, 
<laughs> you got to be kidding me. This we got a pick in. It's Dalai Lama. I, it's almost he, he like can't not take I'm good at this. at this point. Damn, man, man, if, if there was a gambling site <laughs> here, man, you'd be cashing in. Yeah, Seriously, I'd dude. be cashing in, man. <laughs> I'd be cashing this in. This is ridiculous. Um, He's got to take real quick, though, I can't even think about that. It's look, man. Dal, real quickly, just to answer Joe question, Joe's question, because the putting it in is really what matters. Um, listen, I don't think Rome would have been the better pick there uh, for the team that he's constructing, because uh, a lot of criticism was made. If you take Esoteric, you need someone else for the offense. That's true, and that's Brick City. Uh, Rome and I play a very similar game. Okay, so you saw it last year with Marty McFly and myself. It works in small doses, and you can get some wins, but I don't think you can win it all like that. So, so Daly knows what he's doing, man. He knows what he's doing. Um, back to Dolly. What do you guys think of that pick right there, uh, Holly? I love the pick, man. I love the Dolly. I don't think it's too early either, man. You know, uh, Dolly did a, had a phenomenal season there for the boys, and you know, mm -hmm. uh, I I think he'll fit he fill in there real well with Marty. And Dolly, you know, I think there'd be mm -hmm. a built-in chemistry there. I mean, you know, between those two. So. Um, and Cedu's off Cedu's the board, off. boys. Ooh. Yeah, there you there go. it is. I called it. Who's next? Yeah. yeah. I, I know Billy was next. Was next. You, you think Billy was eyeing out on Cedu, man? But no, uh, he's off the, uh, Dude, he's off the uh, board. So. How do you not take him right now? I, I think he's going Cosmic Fade. I'm, I'm, what am I, 9 for 9? Well, I'm 8 for 8. I think he's going Cosmic here. But um, look at he take look at Marty McFly's get the power couple man. I thought it might happen, and there it is. I don't like that pick at all, man. I mean, I love Dolly, but I don't like availability at all. That's brutal. He's got to get hey. a really good backup. Oh my hey. god, this is disgusting. Hey, how do you like that? You gotta be kidding me. Here's here's the wild card. Okay, and, and I think everybody knew Ability was taking Cosmic there. That's his guy. Um, and look, him, Cosmic's man. electric, and if you haven't seen him play in this game yet, boys, Yam and, and Holly, he, he's even better at this game than he was last game. That's a great pick right there. Um, pick 10, True Therapy. Ooh, let's see. God, King Rome is still there. I think he's going to go no regretskis here, though, because oh. Chu's playing center. So we'll see. That's true. Damn. So that if that happens. King Rome is still going to be on the clock oh, on the board. Server. You know, Freaking. in the draft. Oh, Thanks. he took Thamps. Thanks. The streak's wow. over, boys. I didn't have inside info. Look, I'm just intelligent. But this time, um, he goes with his guy, man. He goes with Thamps. Proven chemistry over the years. That's his guy. Um, what do you guys think? Thamps there? Yeah, I, I mean, I mentioned this guy on the pre-draft show to Daly when he was doing the show. I'm like, nobody really talks about Thamps, man. Maybe because he was out, you know, in that uh, other country, his internet and stuff. But, like, you know, everybody's talking about <laughs> Dolly, King Rome, Daly, you know what I mean? Even Drift King, you know what I mean? Odd guy got the championship. But nobody really mentioned Thamps. You know, he wasn't there for game five and six. Maybe that's why. But, uh Thamps had a phenomenal season, man. So I'm calling you know, him he had, here, by the way. Yeah, some great highlights, too. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I agree. And this is going to be DMART's pick at 11. He's got to go King Rome. He's got to. Got to. He's got to. Well, he's, he usually looks for the center, man. So He's got to. That's a no-brainer, dude. Oh, my God. you got to be kidding me. Dude, King Rome's just... Did he drape? Like, what is this going on here? It's wow, like Jofus. Jofus. Jof yep. That's disgusting. I love this pick. I love it. I love it. It's a great pick, it's, man. I've you know only gotten like to play to with Jofus a handful of times. He's fantastic. What's up? You know what? I, you know what I'd like to point out is that I pick. I pick like when we do the, the picks for captains and, and draft spots. I'm just defaulted at the last pick of the draft or the first round every time. <laughs> why can't? Why can't? Why can't I captain when King Rome drops to like fucking pick four? And there he goes. There he goes, man. Oh, there King Rome gotta go to DJ. DJ. Great pick. Number yeah. twelve. Great pick. So that's an excellent pick, man. There, man. That's a great yeah. pick. Unbelievable. I mean, especially where DJ. You know, especially when hey. he just placed on that draft board, man. Oof. Yep. A drug, oh, if you're listening, money. man, we told you. We told you this would happen. Again, we told you it would happen. He doesn't deserve to go 12th, but with the draft the way it was and the captains that were ahead, this is how it was going to fall. And and uh, that was, that Rome's going to have a hell of a season. Idea. Yeah. That was that's a just great steal. Well, the only absolute steal is these picks are ass. 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 Hopefully more people <laughs> drop to him and the strategy works out. Listen, that's no one's fault but DJ's. Well, I mean, he, made some, he just got King some, Rome, so so far he's panning out yeah. for him. Yeah. So far, yeah. Uh, abilities on the board, man. Who do you think? 
I don't I, know where I he's going. I have no idea. You know, he played with like everybody. <laughs> and I have no idea who he's looking at, to be honest with you. I thought he was going to go at Rome. I didn't think he would go to Kazakh. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is a first pick of round two. Well, a couple Did guys that didn't go. A couple guys didn't go round one, man. No Gretzky's. Saini Pone hasn't gone, you know. Uh, two guys yeah. right there that, you know, some guys had them up on their uh, draft board. Um, yeah, there's, I mean, there's still, you know, you got a cosmic fade. Who's he going to partner him up with, man? I think they, I think he might want to grab him a center here. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, there you go. No Regretzky's. Yep, there he goes. Right winger. So uh, his wings are certainly stacked. That's for sure. That's going to be a hell of a problem for a lot of people trying to defend that nightmare. Um, that's a great start for ability, by the way. Yeah, for a rookie captain that uh, definitely uh, was doubted a lot, man, coming into the draft. Um, I, th I think Abilie's doing pretty good so far, man. It's two picks on here. Uh, number 13, it's either a lucky or unlucky pick, man. Mm-hmm. That's right. There's somebody, right. Second there's somebody, pick. I, think Second that, somebody that I think DJ should go for. I won't do the typical media cock block and put names out there, but when, when DJ picks, I'll, I'll put him out there. I think he'd work perfect with Rome. I wow, think he's and uh, Wolin. Wolin, I know that, newcomer I know to me anyways. Um, well, you can bet Dominator Silva knows who he is because Dom is with the hashtag cam. Um, and uh, he doesn't take somebody that... Uh, that's his guy. It's got to be his guy. He was really worried he wouldn't be there. I know that. I can tell you that. So he got his guy. Ooh, I don't know I anything really about him. him. Let me see what he What's plays. That? Hold on. Let me go. Let me check out Left what he wing. plays. Left wing. Ah oh, man. Yeah. I see. I would think that's somebody that would have dropped unless people know him or something. Oh, Clancy knows him. Maybe mm. he went to yeah. Well, I, I believe it's part of that crew. Yeah. Well, Dom's on right wing, so he's got a left wing. So he, he's locking down the wings too. You know, same as some yeah. of these other captains have been doing so far. Interesting. Yeah, yeah I don't know that guy. At all. I, mean, I guess we're gonna know him. P Pale's first pick, right? He's coming up. It's coming up right here, yeah. I'll tell you what, I, I, I had a concern that Don might try and get cute with his picks, and I don't know if that is a cute pick or not. Like, he might try and outsmart himself and not take the obvious people. But it's hard to say, say, but you know he's been scouting like crazy, yeah. So, I feel like he knows what he's doing. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt there. Obviously, if he takes the guy number one with his first pick, he's got he's to gotta think pretty highly of him. You know him better than anyone. So... Um, well, um, I mean, yeah, uh, he's low. <laughs> well, listen, guys, real quick while there's a lull here. Quick shout out to Sniper who's making this happen. This draft board is amazing. I'm watching it on my big screen. Um, fuck, it, it's fantastic. You can see how the rosters are panning out, um, especially the fourth column where it says Esoteric and Brick City with Daily, <laughs> which is the team that. Like, if you guys want to pack it up and we can move on to season six, oh, if you guys want to do that. The... Vezin, the runner-up, just got picked before B. Chris. There he is, man. There goes Drift He's King. He's pumping off so hard to that it's ridiculous. Yeah, Drift King's with Pale. That I didn't see that coming. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, that was. I'm surprised. And there's there's a uh, McGill taking Ezreal. I wow. thought DJ should have picked wow. that. I think so, him and Roman went So we we. We questioned if uh, McGill was going to get Stealth Luca. Some people uh, thought it was going to be easy or real. Uh, mm -hmm. Sandy Pone, or he's got both. <laughs> he's got them both. Wow. Man. Wow. Crazy. Yeah, I think it was yeah. AC on the, uh, or some, someone on the, thir uh, the, the pre draft <laughs> show said that he may yeah. take uh, Sandy with the first pick. Oh, fuck yeah. it. He gets him with the uh, fourth I, pick in the second round. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what. Another pick. I wonder I what Daly's got to say about five. that, though, man, because, you know, he, yeah. he always mentions the thing about one puck, two guys, you know. Uh, mm hmm. You know? So, you know, two uh, definitely high scores right there, man. Uh, no, no doubt about it. But Yeah, Crimson so, yeah, fires can, off the board. Luca can set up. He, he, can, he can play a secondary role. If he's mm -hmm. a secondary forward, that's, he, you're stacked. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, Dom just took Crimson Fire, who was listed as a center. Um, I don't know that, that was curious to me. I played a lot of years with Crimson Fire in another league, and I've never seen him play center. But, again, this was a long time ago, so... Um, um, yeah, I guess he's a center now. Yeah, so Dom, Dom Silva Dom, Dom. locking down that whole forward line, man. Himself, mm -hmm. you know, Wallen, and now Crimson Fire, man. There's his front line, man. That looks pretty good, man. I agree. I agree. I agree. A lot of, lot of forwards going early. The only D-men we got are Moose. 
Uh, Ooh, that's it. Oh, and Sea Doo. New Sea Doo and Drug Monkey. Oh, oh sorry, to guys. Stuff I just... down. Oh, oh sorry, guys. I was just. Uh, vomit. My bad. I was just playing a little song. Uh, who's on the board? Oh, Pale's what's, on the board. So what's Daily doing right now, man? He's <laughs> taking a nap. Listen, listen. <laughs> I don't you, bother Daily on, on draft day. Okay, he's building a winner. No, no, oh, we can't not. get him in here. No, I'm not going to interrupt him on draft day. He's got. He hasn't picked for the next three rounds. He hasn't picked again until the fifth round. Listen, he's always thinking. Okay. No, 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 it's a good idea. I don't, and I don't, I don't really know. appreciate you actually insulting my captain. <laughs> Hopefully he falls, falls asleep by the fifth round, man. <laughs> yeah. Auto, you know. Is there an auto draft on you? <laughs> That's fine, dude. It'll just be me, Brick, Daly, and a bunch of bots, and we'll just win it all. That's cool. It's not a big <laughs> he's deal. Gotta, he's got to rate players, and uh, rate players, and they'd auto pick for him. The kickers picking that fancy <laughs> Yeah, kickers and special teams. <laughs> Three kickers, SO, and, and Brick. <laughs> Fucking right. Let's go. Hey, now, uh, Drift Kick's playing forward this season, right? I don't Who know, man. Not? It's got him as goalie on his draft board. I think he just changed his sign up again. Okay, so he could he could God. potentially still be playing that, man, this season. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's not a bad strategy. Oh, there's Rev, there goes Rev Hellcat. There goes Found Rev. Found himself. Tom yeah, just took a Tom just committed to suicide. Nuts. Rev just went to Pale Poner. So yeah, no, uh, yeah, you were talking about the defense, man. Not going. There we go. Well, there you mm -hmm. go. Well, you know, Rev is a top five center. Yeah, when top three. Top, top three. Top three. Top three. Yeah, true. Yeah. There you go. Um, but in all um, seriousness, man, left D is thin, and we and we know yeah. it, man. And 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 no shock that the two best mm -hmm. ones are off the board in Moose and. Uh, and Rev, um, actually, that might not be true. There's another one out there, uh, Atri, that I don't know anything about, but I hear good things about his play. So that could be another top lefty man right there. Going back to Pale, man, Pale's pick, man. Even himself, uh, the two guys, uh, the two picks that he picked, uh, himself as well, all, all three of them uh, could play multiple positions, man. So he, he's able to rotate that roster to what fits. You know, we've seen Pale play multiple positions as well. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good when uh, when you got to rotate guys around and stuff, you know, you know what guys I, you are know not what there. Point out. Well, one thing I will point out is that all these picks are pretty good. We haven't had any draft pause moments. We haven't had any. Uh, how's Scotia, is Hal Scotia on the uh, draft pool? <laughs> I don't know, man. Who knows? Where's Assassin at? Let's see who picked him. No, no goalies yeah, yet, huh? Well, Drift. Nope. That's an early pick. Who is the... but you know what? He, he's got, he's got, he can play goalie and right wing, so he's in a good spot with that pick because you can kind of just see whatever falls late and pick up, you know, what's there. Oh, my right, God. Right. DJ picked Santeria. Oh, wow. What Bank is Love. Thinking? Well, I'll tell you what he's thinking. Dank Love scored 90 points. And listen, I'm I'm a firm believer of second chances. This guy was cancer as a captain. He literally had his whole team turn on him. He acknowledged his mistake. He's moving forward. This is a guy who scored 90 points, guys. I mean, honest to God. And he's got... Um, you really buying that? <laughs> nah. You're really nah. buying this? Well, look, am I buying what? what? That he's the eternity I, I, leaf? Yeah, I'm... I, yes. Well, this I'm <laughs> buying in right now. Just like you're I, I, buying into the puck and putting it in. <laughs> I, I played, I mean, played for Danklov. I played for uh -huh. Danklov most of last season, man. And uh, yeah, he, he might not be the best captain, but player-wise, man, yeah, the guy definitely puts the puck in the net, man. And, uh, and now he's got high King score. Long. And we played, and when we played, man, I mean, we had trades like every week, and this guy played with all these different multiple. Uh, forward lines and then glove was still putting up the points so uh, you know i i didn't like oh. what he did at towards the end of the season but uh or as uh decisions as a captain but he doesn't have to play that role this season so so shock takes phoenix rising so, here i didn't see uh, that coming uh, Dude, that's a stretch, no, stretch. well look the draft board has him as right d can you can guys confirm for me that because that's not a thing because drugs the right d he plays lefty also. Okay. But that's not so his he, name. So he just lost. So. I, I, I don't know, man. 
<laughs> Look, I'm telling oh, no. you right now, Shock has ringers. He always does. And Here's I'm really shocked he didn't go Ozzy or Clancy there. Here's wow. the thing. If you're going to take a D-man in the first round, I think you got to go with a forward in the second round. I don't think you can go two D-men. So that's Derek, a crazy Derek. pick, I think. Derek GNR is off the board. Oh, my God. They're literally assembling Justice League. Rev, I hope you're listening. Time to get Steven, Rev Hellcat, Derek GNR, Justice League. From season three. Season three. Minus S. Which captain is that? Well, it was either me or Stealth Luca were both on that team, but uh, at different times we were traded for each other. That's uh, Pale Pony. <laughs> Who did I miss in there, Superstar? Oh, man. Yeah, well, <laughs> Superstar was traded off. <laughs> Steven traded everybody except Rev Hellcat, literally. There's a shock. So, yeah. Um, hot heroes are on the board. Hey, uh, Stealth Luca just said Justice League. Oh, Lord, Esso, don't bring that up. So I guess you see how they Sorry, that Sorry, Luca. <laughs> Luca, I was there too, man. We all went through it. It was a thing. Um, and Steven hates when you fucking bring it up too. Hey, Steve, remember that time you drafted that shit team and traded everybody 700 times? Oh, he Shut the, the fuck up. Too, that season? Yes, he did. Wow. I'm I, surprised. I mean, I didn't. I, I mean, I didn't. But. Dark G and R is a center in the third round really early too. He's not. He doesn't have anything but center down there, right? I think so. And -man, but mm -hmm. that's it. Oh man. Oh, well, Pill Poner was I, able to do that because he had crazy. three picks in the second round, man. You know, he's already yeah. got uh, three three guys on the draft. I think four. Wait, do you have three or four? I forget. Three. Well, with him, it's four. Three. Yeah. I don't like. I mean, Derek Gino is a great guy. But I, I like him a lot as a D-man and a goalie. Oh, b Crips going. Hot here. There he goes. Marty. There he go. Marty's got a nice team there. Listen, Marty has a great team going right now. You get the power couple and you get the best goalie in the world. In the in our world. In b Crips. So, um, and Marty, good Marty luck going on that team, out. boys. <laughs> I played against yeah, b Crips well, like, yeah, the first day the game came out. And he was, it was like, like he literally just popped in NHL 17 and kept playing. It was ridiculous. Like, there was mm -hmm. no adjustment to him at all. He just was a stud from the first day. The diddling danglers are up right now. Um, so far, this is, this is Desire Customs. He's got Light the Lamp Ooh, and himself. Atri. And there goes Atri. Atri. So, um, that's a great start from what I understand. Atri, oh, hey, yeah. he's been with us, he's been with us in, the, in the past. And, uh, you know, I'll put it out there. There was three guys. It was him, Title Town, and M. Bell. Between the three, Atri showed the ability to be a human the most. Um, and, you know, he, he had issues, but he, he insists that he's going to be uh, a good guy here, which he will, or he'll fucking hit the bricks. But beyond that, he's a stud left D man. He is really, really good. You just got to make sure he doesn't act like a jackass. <laughs> mm -hmm. that's a good and that's what there. I hear. So. Yeah. That sounds like a but, great pick. Um, go ahead. Right now, fellas, man. Right now, fellas, I think this is the first I ever seen this. A guy is going to select four picks in a row. He hasn't made yep, a pick yet, I've never yet, seen man. this. That's a agent, man. How the hell did There it is. There? There's his first pick. Pogs. Great pick, by the way. He's so underrated. Um, if you never played against this guy, you want to talk about... And as a center, boy, is he a pain in the balls in the circle, that guy. Pogs. I always like to go... Oh, yeah. Like, center, in my opinion, is the most important position. Because they play offense, they play defense... And if they can, they can tear it up in the uh, in the dot. You know, a guy that can win faceoffs in his own end is almost like a third yeah. defender. Like, yep, agreed. Center's, center's crucial. And, and listen, we, we mentioned before about Dank Love about the scoring that he put up last season. <laughs> this is the this is the guy that's been dishing in and out to him, man. Those Pogs, man, at that yep. center spot, winning the faceoffs, and um, great, great, great guy on the ice. Yep. Um, Ooh, excuse let's see me here. Really, am? It's a fucking draft show. I should Have be ruled one for that. Sorry. <laughs> Please. Um, oh, we got another I'm pick. Surprise me. Really interested to see. I have no idea who that is. No clue. Who it that surprises me to. too, because I don't know who that is either. Somebody we know. Uh, somebody that's in a different tag. I don't know. I'm sorry. I want to comment on him, but I've never seen him play. I've never met him. I can't. Yeah, that's you know what I, I can do. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah. You know what I can do? Well, he well he was he was referred by Pogs. So, you know what I mean? So, and he plays forward as well. So, you know what I mean? He picked Pogs. He's going for a one-two punch here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I was trying to garbage off the session. Sounds like the price is right. The <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of the like, Cosby's, man? Or I know exactly young? what it is. I'm, just, I'm sick of it already. Okay. I, th- I thought it was oh, like man. the price is right. I mean, just going back to it real quick. I mean, and Daly's not forcing me to do this. I'm just doing it. Um. Oh, hold on. We got a pick. Just play, and it's Tom's. You should just play that for Hugh every day at like 6 in the morning. I'm going to send you Cosby photos. I'll give you a phone number. Nonstop, just every day. Tomps. Tomps is a goalie. It's got him as a center, though. I mean, he's got to be playing goal. He can play everywhere, I think. Okay. Uh, Let me see here. I thought he can play everything now. Like, he was, like, good everywhere. That's what they said in the other. You know, he was. He was, but but primarily he did put center. I don't know if that was to drape the board. Uh, But, uh, (laughs) you know, if if Agent is playing up front, you know, and you got Pogs and you got. uh, uh, surprise me! Somebody's got to play either defense or in that, you know. Right. Um, but um, on his agent um, is, is is not going to play, or he's going to play the EMC role, Yambang. Oh man! Yeah, you know, I'll tell you what. In what like ten years of playing hockey, six v six leagues, we had one captain that drafted a team and benched himself for the playoffs and won the cup, and I've never seen on any team ever since. And I don't think I'll ever see it again. That guy, that was ridiculous. That's something we need to see Daly do. Draft a team and bench himself. Not like not show up for the playoffs like he does. I mean, yeah. actually bench himself and win the mm. cup still. That's the sign of a good captain. So three, three or four picks done here by AJ. He's on his fourth pick, man. Um, but how crazy is that, man? I mean, uh, you know, you, I, I don't know if I would have liked it. I mean, I, I like to pick, get a pick, then you get a break, think about who you're going to pick next. But he, he's got to go four in a row, man. So, you know, I yeah, mean, I'm, I'm, five, I'm sure a lot of teams. guys he wanted um, might be already off the board. So, you know, but. Well, he had to know <laughs> that his guys would be there or he wouldn't have done this. And I guarantee you he wanted Pogs. Po- again, I'll say it again. Yeah. Pogs is very underrated. I've seen it. You ever just watch a player and you're like, fuck, that guy's annoying. He's good. Fuck, that's Pogs. But for some reason, he stays out of the limelight. And a lot of people don't have his name in their mouth. You know what I'm saying? Wow, so and, I got, and I think that might change. Uh, I got a G chat from an uh, anonymous source who is a very good center in his own right. And he said, Tomps is a legit center, and that's coming from me. And it's somebody that's a. It's somebody that's off the board. We'll put it that way. So, I'll so take it's tough, Luca D. It's a high comp. Okay. Could be. Could not be. You don't know. You don't have many friends, Jim. By the way, I got a ton. Nexus, Nexus just went off the board, and that's criminal. He's a very good defender, and he should have been picked by now, in my opinion. And there goes a, there goes Tompkins too. A couple of XPS yep. picks back to back. That's a good pick. It's four good picks there. He's pretty set. He's, what does he need? A goalie, I guess? Who's that, Who's that tail? Yeah. Now, what, what do you guys think about those picks, though? I mean, Dom going with guys that first time here in 2 3 9, as opposed, you know, I know they, they probably played in other leagues and stuff, but uh, it's all uh, new guys coming into the league. So, I mean, Dom Silva, you know, moved down the board for this reason, you know what I mean? Because all the guys that oh, have picked easy. so far. Um, no, I'm, I'm t- for Tompkins, uh, right? Pick- uh, okay. I'm, I'm, uh, okay. I'm saying all the guys that he picked, you, you know, would have been there around two or three, no problem. Um, you know, so he did uh, the smart logic I thing. I don't know Dark Horse the just that, took... That Don picked. Dark Horse, shocked. He got Ozzy. He got Ozzy in round three. How? Wow. Clancy's How still on the board. Thing? He is. <laughs> I... I don't Doc's get it. Gonna play up. So he needs a goalie and a left wing, or goalie and a winger, I guess, right? And a center. <laughs> he needs a center too. Look, oh, no, shock not, took, if he's gonna play up, you're right. right. Shock yeah. took Phoenix Rising, and he still ended up with uh, <laughs> with Ozzy. Yeah, that's that's baffling. That right there, so far, is the biggest shocker to me. That that man made it to round three, and to shock again, unreal. Well, I mean, if you look at it this way, if he took Ozzy round two and Phoenix round three. You know what I mean? Like, a guy that's a round two guy fell to round three. 
I think Phoenix went too early. I mean, he he's a big fan of the show in two three nine, but I think he could have went a little bit later. Here's now this is big here, five. man. Demar only had that one pick with Jolfus, man. He's got back to back picks here. BTW, I love it. Nice pick. Well, Jovis is playing right D, right? Because Demar plays right wing. Correct. So Jovis has to be on right D, right? Yep. That's interesting. A Demar went with a D man first pick. Oh, there goes Hugh Laurie. Off the board to Demar. Interesting. Well, well you know, get, Hugh's jacking off tonight. I know, he, he's minute. definitely... Maybe the sting of having a draft mix swagger next season is going to start to wear off a little bit because he ends up with DMART, BTW, and Jofus. That's a hell of a squad. Actually, you know what? Speaking of mix swagger, show it or not, he's already fallen this far. I'm surprised. He puts up a lot of points. I am also surprised. Yeah, so, I mean, Dean Moore, Hugh Laurie, I mean, chemistry was there last season, and I think uh, it's a revamped, uh, much better uh, black sales team almost here, man, with those two. And then you look at the defense pair, you know, um, and then, you know, you, you throw in BTW. I mean, I haven't seen uh, much from this guy yet, but, um, you know. Well, no, they don't, uh, they don't have a lefty, and that's what killed, that's what killed uh, mm -hmm. black sales is they had no cause part-time. Well, yeah, superstar still, superstar still on the board. Man. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> I think superstar so, walked the plank for the black sales. <laughs> Dominator Silva just went with all the way, and I have animal crackers in my mouth. Fuck off. Um, now it's an interesting pick because Sites got him as left D. I know him as a great goalie, so. It'll be interesting to see where Dom's using him there. He won a cup here, didn't he? Did he win the cup with the Thundercats? Ugh. No, he was on my team. He was on Jello time. Oh, uh, okay. He was a very good goalie, though. Yeah, he was. Actually, how many goalies have been taken so far? We got, uh, I'm looking over it now. Let's B. Crip, got... Steven. Steven. All the way? That's it. All the way. Unless all the way is a goalie. Yeah, well, plus, Tom's, plus two. Tom's. Tom, Tom's could be too, yeah. Plus, you got I two mean, captains uh, that, that are probably playing goalie as well. You got DJ, you know, and Ability. Let me try and get some inside info here. See where, see where, uh, oh god, this is AIDS. I'm using my laptop and it's like so sensitive. Let's see if I get some inside info on, on where all the ways playing. See if Dom, and, Dom has some love for the media here. Or he might not want to tell us. That's terrible. Well, it's crazy because uh, Dom Silva is on the board next soon, man. McGill just took edge. Is that true? Wait, hold up. I missed it. Where? Did... Oh, then we got McGill. Listen. All the way is playing right D or goalie. And okay. Steve, I'm um, Steve. Uh... What's that dipshit's name? Uh, time to get Steven is not playing goalie. So self He's playing forward. Self awarded Vesna winner, really the backup winner, is playing forward, not goalie. Okay. This is getting a little slow here. Oh, we got we got Edge picked. Edge got picked hey. by. Uh, let me see here. Edge left winger and center went to McGill. That's a good pick. Yep. Hey, one guy. Hey, one guy still on the board, guys. Like swagger. Yep. I see. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm surprised he went this far. He's got to go to ability, right? Like him and ability are buddies. When's ability pick? <clears throat> Where's he at? He was Pretty soon to here. Picks away. He is. Uh, ability's four picks away. I I know Sober's excited not to go early, huh? I'm gonna make a call, guys. You know how I started off this thing so good. He did. The Peninsula Pirates, DMART's team, is up next after this community college pick. And I think he's taking his goalie. Oh, Matt and I don't want to say it. That's, That's a good pick. Oh, that was my pick. I thought he was going to DMART. He went to Dom. Mac North, full time goalie. I know it shows he's left wing, man, but boy, he's been really good. I don't know if. Obviously, Dom's been doing his scouting, man, and. Uh, 
And uh, took him right in front of DeMart, too. Wow. I'm curious. That's uh, Mac, Max the goalie. I was just going to say Mac. Yes. Mac actually messaged me and asked to make sure goalie was on his list because he liked it a lot. Yep. Somebody that actually likes goalie a lot, and he was really good in it. Last season was the first time he ever played it, right? Yep. That's crazy. But, I mean, you he ask any of these guys that have been scouting him? The third round. Yep. And, these, and that's the type of guy Mac is, though. Like, he... He, you know, Demar had said a long time ago. You ever just, you know, they're good at video games. Period. Like yep. this kid can pick it up, and he, like, he just gets it. Um, so that's a crazy. Congrats that's to crazy. Mac, they man. Gotta... You're playing good team. I know nothing about the rest of that team, though. Unfortunately, I'm sure I will by the end of the season. Well, I do. I mean, Krim Tompkins and all the way are all XPS guys. Wolin, I don't know at well, all. But a goalie, a goalie with your fourth pick is a good spot. That's a good spot for, for mm-hmm. them. By the way, I have an inside way, source. Inside source. Remember that pick Remember that, that uh, uh that agent made, agent surprise, surprise me twenty two. My inside yeah. source yeah. says he's yeah. very good and he's always in the top twenty on the hut leaderboards for what that's worth. Oh so. well, Hut's like versus well, though. That's not that's like guys that go, Hey, I'm good at versus like, so, yeah, like you're good at the game, you're good. Be good. At the game. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. But there's been guys that are terrible at like like I'm Anal? trying to not pick, point somebody out, but guys like, later. no, I mean guys that are like good at verses and suck at ESHL, or guys that beat them off the sticks. Are good at verses and the suck at Fuck out of here. Yeah. I I made him you know? quit. He put it out there. Yeah. Um, looks yeah, like Demar's scrambling, nice. boys. You want to know why he's well, scrambling? Well, there's Cortez. Yep. Good there pick. goes there goes Cortez. Man, what a great oh. team that's looking to be right now. I uh, think Demar was up. taking Mac right there, and he had to scramble. That's my opinion. Yeah. Well, there's still yeah, a lot of big up. names. Still a lot of big names out there. Murph's still on there. You know, I mentioned McSwagger yeah, yeah. before on there. Um, Clancy's still on there, you know. Um, uh, I think so DJ's got to go defense here. Defense? Your the boy Peace Ball Bombs there, there, man. Wiz Khalifa, left D. Okay. Wiz Khalifa, yeah. I swear to God, if one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more picks go by and Clancy's not off the board and Shock gets him, it could happen. It could happen. Because I don't think, oh, I mean, I don't know, man. He he might get taken right here by ability. Because that would be a deadly line. Clancy, Fade, and Gregretzky's, good lord. BCO is still on the, on the board there. Um, BCO, as far as, like, the yeah. BCO is still yeah. on there. What the fuck? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we knew this was going to happen, pick. man. We knew this coming in, how deep easily. this draft was. You know what I mean? A lot of these guys easily, uh, prior drafts, when like first or second round, are still on the board. Yeah. I almost it's wish it happened Master this year. Shot- Master Shotgun is out there still. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, Mido, yeah. Mido, yeah. That I, I guy's still out there. Cup champion, cup winner. Tomahawk's out there. <laughs> yeah, he's still it's out gone, there. He's going to fall right to daily, there. man. Right to daily. <laughs> Doug CTC. Dude, there's a lot of really good players out there. There is. There's and look, out there. I just noticed this too. Done. Um, Agent is about to finish his fucking team in three more picks. Four more picks. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, his starting true, team, man. you know. Wow. Uh oh. Uh, what do you? What is? What is ability doing here, man? I'm thinking about it. I know what he's doing. Clancy, is he doing it? No, that one odd guy gone. Cup. Cup champion, dude. Game winning. That's a lot of goal. wingers. So odd guy must be. Uh, he, I don't know if he. He could play him anywhere. That's the beauty of odd guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Odd guy in round four. First pick of round four. Daily, if you're listening, man, can you believe this? They let him go to round four again. Which means daily, if you even had like an early round four or a late round three, you would have gotten him again. And there goes Murph. There goes Murph. Diddling danglers. Which is uh, key. Yeah, so, what else you got there? Yeah, so, you got there? He's got to light the lamp and he's got Murph on there, huh? Dude, that, that's, yeah. a, that's a really interesting team. That's a, that's a uh, oh, what's I'm looking for? Like a very uh, flammable team, I think. 
There's a lot of uh, yeah, for yeah. sure. That's but a that's very, just uh, awesome. right up Desired quest. Customs Alley, though. So that's a ho- that's that's a Hollywood. There's some good players right there. there. There's some very oh, yeah. good players there. They work well together. Oh, yeah. They're stacked. Mm-hmm. And, and Lamp, there, customs like the the feeder. Lamp, from what I've seen, always has uh, gross assists to goals number. So if if Lamp has 15 goals. He's probably got 38 assists or, or more, so that might work out That's really good. well for Murph. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that that might be a really good thing they got going over there. Uh, interesting to see how they pan out, and they got uh, Atrion Lefty, who again I'm being told he's right up there, as best lefty in the league. So uh, Keith's looking like he's doing a pretty good job over there. He's gonna pretty he's gonna benefit. I'm telling you right now, if he plays right wing on that squad, which I think he will. So Keith needs a goalie and a right D, and he's done. He's done. Yeah. Oh, up next it's is Pale Polner, goals, man. man. Dude, if I, if I was captaining, Tomahawk is a guy that I had slotted to go late that I would have tried to go after to steal because he had issues last season, yeah. but then he got his internet fixed. But he's a good goalie. Mm-hmm. He is a good goalie, well, yeah. Well, there's a lot of, lot of great goalies plenty. out there. Oh, there he Jim goes. Flanagan's out there still. I forgot about Jim Flanagan. Yeah. <laughs> but as far as, as yep. goaltenders, I mean, you got Mido Garin, man. Solid goaltender, you know. Tomahawk, you mentioned. How about Lyon, you know man? Lyon played great. Mido, Mido uh, Garin was a Devil. good player for us last season. Mido's yeah, NJ good Devils. Forward, Chew Therapy is about to have three picks almost in a row coming up here in about five uh four more picks so it goes like chew therapy the dirty apes chewy and chewy again i'll be interested to see what he does there to round out his team because right now he's got himself moose and thamps as the core um yeah we got yeah, a long break yeah a long break since round yeah. one right yeah you know who else has a, a long break daily yeah my Hopefully. captain <laughs> um Victoria's Secret, man. Where's he going here? You think he's got to go goalie here? No, he. I mean, he's the goalie. I hope. He's, hmm. For him to be successful, he's got to be the goalie. Tom no, he's, he needs defense. He needs, Who I, is that? I think, yeah. I think, I think he needs defense, defense on this team, man. Uh, yeah, I saw that guy play. He's good. He's yeah. a center. I know nothing at all about him. Well, that tells me that the odd guy's playing left D. playing D. Yeah, or right D, even. Is this agent's last pick? Yep. Well, well, like to, right? So who's who's the guy here, man? I mean, so far. Hogs Tomps surprised me. He was a winger, so he's going D here. Nexus. Yeah. Wait a second. Might I be just my realized assumption. something. I just realized Dom's done. Dom's team is done. He got Mac North as goalie yeah. with his fifth pick. That's pretty. That's crazy. Yep. Yeah. He had a very good draft. I don't know the yes, first he did. three guys. Well, you can bet. Oh. Well, again, I do know them, and you can bet. Oh, there goes Shotgun. So he got you know, his goalie can we, there. Can we discuss how disgusting Agent's logo is with the toe? It's fucking It's disgusting. fucking gross. It's I filthy. can't even look at it. Yeah. His write-up should just be that logo and nothing else. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> Maybe you want to sniper it made it. <laughs> Where did you guys see this logo? Good lord. Retro. Gross sniper. That's fucking gross. Um, it's not as good as the it's not as good as the draft logo here, right? Uh, draft no, logo of course. Ooh, man, that's the ability. Okay. That ability oh, made man. That? Yeah, yeah. Or Hans, Hans ability, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Hans, <him. laughs> yeah, yeah. Hans ability. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, his team's looking stacked right now. Congre- hey, dude, if you're listening Hans to ability, ability in the uh, chat. Hashtag hands ability. When I do these shows, I don't look at nothing, <laughs> chats or anything like that. I just, I just roll with it. Um, <laughs> ability. If you're listening, man, that is a stacked, stacked team you got going on over there. Whether people realize it or not, fade Regretskis and Tom up front. That, that that's gonna be a nightmare. Who, who do you guys think McFly is looking here, man? He's got Dolly, C. Do, V. Chris, man. <sighs> Dolly, C. Do, the whole left side. So he's, Another forward. He's got to look toward us. Right. He wants a winger yeah. here. Right wing or right D, right? Well, no, C dude's the right D. Unless, oh yeah. So he's gonna go wing here, I think, and I think he's gonna look to to shore up his left D later on. Unless Morty uh, chooses to play D. 
Two thirds of the draft show might be getting going to round five, man. I'm loving it. I'm gonna have a party here. This Play me some this going fast, man. Huxable music. We'll I'm be dancing in a second. Mm. Doing the Carlton. This this draft's actually moving pretty fast, man. Uh, these captains did a yeah, lot of scouting, man. I don't. You know, there hasn't been a pause, a draft pause. I shouldn't have jinxed it though, right? What is this fucking? What is this shit? Damn it! Uh, somebody put something in the chat. I don't know what it is. Some, I'll tell someone else to click it. The anonymous fat schlong. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't know who that is either. Oh, I told you about the guy that was on the uh, two three nine club I kept, right? It was called a. Uh, oh, what was it something schmegma? <laughs> zesty. Oh zesty yeah. Zesty schmegma. That was zesty one of the best schmegma. things I ever saw. <laughs> that dude gets dead. That's pretty good. He's a random. He gets put around. <laughs> So, so both Dominator Silva and Agent, both those teams uh, got their st uh, uh, Done. six, right? Done. Yeah. Dude, he got yeah. master Done. shotgun with his fifth pick. Ugh, that's filthy. Wow. Crazy. Marty well, McFly is scrambling. Run, I think. Is Marty McFly actually in the draft right now? Is he in the chat? He in the chat? <laughs> He's got to come back to the future, uh, man. Back to the track. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Well, Marty's got a goalie already, so, I mean, you know, he, he's got to look at the other spots, man. I mean, there's there's still plenty, you know. Hey, Sniper, can you kick that guy from chat, Anonymous Pat Schlong? Apparently, it's just some random trolling us. C Dub goes to Marty, by the way. Um, that's a really good. Com that's a that's a great complimentary pick, man. I I said it last night. I think I was in the Jesus. I was in the party with C Dude. That's who it was, and we were talking about uh, how he's underrated as fuck, and he always seems to slip to these round fours, man. And all he does, he goes out there and he puts up points. It's just a great pick. Yeah, he played for Pell last season, right? Yeah, he did. Yes. So he was there with Cedu. I mean, they they've been on this uh, team too. So you know, yep. definitely chemistry between those two. Oh, I think absolutely. he gets over. I think he gets overlooked by Cedu. That's the one. That's the problem. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Shout out to no, Anonymous that's fine. who just got banned from the chat. Nice. Shout out Anonymous. <laughs> Who's up here? Uh, Desire Customs is on the clock. BC so Renton. customs, like I said. BC took BC Renton. Okay. Start showing up that defense. Nice. I like it. Renton's solid, man. He's a puck-moving defenseman, I think, is kind of how I view him. He likes to carry it, too. I mean, if you give him space, he'll, he'll carry it. Nick the Greek, Nick the Greek to uh, Shock. There's a surprise. Uh, that's a that's a joke, by the way. It's obviously not a surprise, to me, anyways. That's uh, a good pick, though. That. Yeah, drug, Greek, Aussie. Yeah. All right, so we got Megillah, then Chew two times, Megillah, and then Dmart. We got well, Chew up you guys... right now. Hockey well, Chew. Yeah, we we guys know about this guy. Nothing. Which guy? Which guy? Hockey Town, and he took Hockey oh, Town. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think he was a waiter well, one well, season. Well, well he got the similar name. He got he got referred by Dalai Lama, man. So he also plays uh, forward winger. Yeah, I wish I could say something about him that made sense, but I don't know who it is. I mean, he's got if you got the name Hockey and then uh, Gamer Tag, he's got to be he's got to know Hockey, right? You're from oh, Detroit, maybe? You gotta, you gotta be from Detroit if you're, you're called Hockey Town, right? Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're waiting maybe, on the deal now. Maybe, maybe it's J.R. Lyde on a different account. Nah, <laughs> nah he's on PlayStation now. Oh, done. you done now. Going to McGill's team. You're seeing it. Yeah, you're seeing the shit before me. That's cool. No, man. I'm, I'm on the stream. So am I, but I'm watching it on my TV, so it's a little delayed. Ah, I like to have the big draft delayed. board on my TV. Yeah. Uh, I just put it full screen on my computer. So Dunner goes to McGilla. So McGilla's out there with 
Oh, Sunnydale Still, takes oh, that's a, a Jew takes Mida Garen. There goes Meadow. There. Okay, that is a good pick, and he's gonna have another pick here. That's a good pick there. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah. It talking about goalies going late, man. Mido Garen, man. Wow, I mean, dude. that guy wasn't wasn't he like what a top a three goalie on season three or. Yeah, he was yeah. last season. I don't know what what it was. Maybe it was our bad day. I don't know, but he did play well yeah. on. Uh, he did play well in a uh, at center. Uh, apparently, Hockey Town is a, is a Detroit fan. He played in one of the other leagues with us, or not with us. He played in one of the other leagues with some of these guys. And it looks like. I'm just... uh, Where's he at? So Chewy, like, Chewy, Sam's Hockey Town. Look That's the, the forward text. crew. He's got to get Moose a D partner here. He needs a right D right here. He Unless Chew's he playing D. Maybe, like maybe Chew's playing D. No chance. He's playing center. Guaranteed. I only know that because it's my boy, you know. I know what he's doing. He's playing center. Um, before he was captain, he said he was signing up pool. center only. You have to help the draft pool. You're here. you're gonna be a help. Yeah. Everybody, two, yep. three, nine, family. Do you hear that? Yambag is gonna be of assistance to something. Holy shit! There you got it. Call the fucking cops. I should I should share the next pick. There, there, there we there we go, man. BCO. Uh, Going that, to chew, yeah, man. Finally. Yeah. Wait. He's wait. a second round player, in my opinion. Number forty eight. End of round four. Yeah. Wow. Dude, Chewy might. Dude, you're right, Holly. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna give you credit. Yeah, I mean, at this point, BCO lasted so long that Chew had no. Ch he had no choice, dude. Now Chew's gonna play right D with Moose on left D. That's my opinion. Wait, what the fuck? I mean, I don't know Hold that for a second. fact. Wait, no, it says. What? Oh, okay. Okay. Everybody, don't panic. That's not really I soldier up. Sergeant Lebner, it's not him. It's uh, it's BCO. Thank you, sniper. So the damn thirty eight. That's a great pick. That's a that's a huge pick right there. I mean, he literally just forced his hand to play defense because somebody that good was available this late. You want to talk about it's a deep draft, pick. man? Oof. It's his fifth pick as BCO. It's... That's silly. Crazy. Ugh. And this is oh, why my captain, captain is smarter. Than everybody else. Okay. Look at the value in round five that he knew would be here. Well, BCO, BCO just went round in round five. Round five. Just to put it out there. Okay. Okay. The very oh, last pick oh, in round right. four. You want to split fucking hairs with me, Yam? Yeah. I mean, we're already. Oh, no, on, I, I, you know. I didn't realize it was that late. There goes the lime. <laughs> there, goes the lime. <laughs> there goes the lime. Lime yeah. was very good in net and defense last year. I think he's a better goalie though. I agree. But yeah, he's solid. Man. There goes Tomahawk. Dude, D Mart's got a nice team, man. I love D Mart. I love that Tomahawk pick. D Mart just picked up Tomahawk. Yep. That's a huge pick. That's a great pick. And here comes Marty, Brothers Grimm, back to back. And, uh. Let me just, uh. Putting it in is coming up next, man. I'm interested to see what Daly goes with here. With here. Because we know he's got three picks in this round. Now, now, hey, Mr. Hollywood, who did they... I'm still, man. He's a goalie. Who... Who's Marty looking for here, man? Is he going defensive sign? <sighs> or he's got to go left D. That's the only thing he's missing. Who did Marty take? Hey, no, no, Marty, no, C Dub's a D man. So C Dub and no. C do have to be a C... D man. Really? It has to be, dude. C -dub's I feel, a I feel like C Dub's more of a forward. Dude, in the most politically correct way of putting it, C Dub's a D man. If that's not a, I think you're wrong. That's a forward. He failed. And then, you know, I, I think, just disagree with you. That no, no that's fine. Point. I mean, isn't the first time. Won't be the last time. I disagree with you. I mean, he put up a bunch of points last this year guy. as a forward. So. Who is he, Dub? Yes. Go look at his. Uh, go yeah. ahead and look. I, I saw every time I saw him play, he was on defense. Mm -hmm. No, he play. He plays no. forward. He plays forward. Yeah, man. man. Yeah, man. Well, he did play forward I mean, on the Pills team. Yes, he did. So the hot heroes, Marty. Marty's got to be going left D here. I'm thinking. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got reports that C Dub is a left D. Dub is oh, wait. One person said they are indeed using him as a left D, and one person said Dub is not a left D. He was fourth in points last season. 
No, he yeah. wasn't, was he? See? Get the fuck out of here. Uh, Dude. I stand corrected then. Well, you know, well, no, we got yeah. two conflicting reports. One person said he's definitely a lefty, and one person said he's not. He is a lefty. So we're gonna well, how come I know what he did last year, and I don't? I don't. I don't even look shit up. I need right, you to get more informed. You gotta get pill on the show. Still on the board. Just to put that out there, hashtag on the board. I can't think of a good hashtag for that one. I'm sorry. That was terrible. Who's on what the board? About, what about this guy? You got, you're looking it's for Dragon. a defenseman or a guy that could play multiple spots? Stoey Dropa, man. Stoey Dropa, um, you know, on the board. Him and Zlo, man. Two guys that can play multiple spots, man. Mm -hmm. Now, no, Marty didn't take anyone yet, right? Or are you just, are you guys just, I don't see that Marty took anyone yet. Okay. All right, I got another. I got another report that it's confirmed. C do will we? C do will use him at left D. C do will be using C dub at left D. Well, that's interesting. C do's not even a captain. Well, hey. So... First round pick picks their partner, man. Come on. Yeah. Well, as far as left D, man. Um, I, I know you talked about this guy a lot. Uh, so Boba man, Boba man, left defenseman, man. You know. Uh, so any captains looking out there, man? Marty's up again. Marty's thinking. Not up again. He's just still up. He's been up for a few couple Dude, minutes here. I, I don't get it, man. I mean, I, I kind of as as like when my last pick is done, I start marking off guys that I want. So like, if it's like ten picks before me, I look at ten people and rank them, and that's who I, I'm going to take. So it's my pick. Dude. So it's instant. Oh, are you calling? You calling Marty slow? A little bit. Is that what you... But hey, yeah, you know, right. his draft's good so far, so it's working for him. Oh, Joe Stowe to uh, Marty. Yep, Joe Stowe to Marty McFly. And... Good pick, man. Good pick by Marty, man. Yeah. I'm just getting ready for the next pick, guys. Don't don't mind me. We're going to see who's coming to the fucking... God, it's such a terrible song. <laughs> We're going to see who's coming to putting it in, boys. I see there. I might play this Is song. Daily... I might play this Is song Daily the entire Oak? time. Is yeah, he's on the clock. Yeah, he might be a suit, man. Is he at the gym? He might be at the gym right now. That's all. Oh, you might have to do a pick him here for him, man. Oh, the, what happened to the stream? It's like reloading for me or something. Oh, no. I hope it seems fine right for me. Out. Might be my shitty computer. Actually, it's not a shitty computer, to be honest with you. Now, how about might this, man? Look at the captain chat. How the hell did this goalie go all the way late, man? 37 in a Ooh. row. ex wow. wow. You know? This guy, I mean, you look at Black Sails, you look at the finals, man. You saw the in those games. I mean, he had a shutout against these guys one of those games. Um, you know, he played part-time. You know, he split the ice, but oof. If, if 37 is there. Black Daly? How does this work? Daly? Oh, uh, okay. All right, so X daily is 37 in a row. Yeah. Ah, gotcha. Okay. So 37. Right, well, we got our tendy. Solid, man. Oh, no doubt. It's shocked, then DJ, and then Pale. God, everywhere I look, I see the picks before they get announced. Jesus Christ. I can't avoid it. Awkward silence, I know. <laughs> oh, there you go, Shock, but Slick, Slicky. Slick. I'm not gonna pronounce that fucking name. Slicky Slick. Yeah. The guy that's got you mentioned that so man. Slicky Slick. Mm -hmm. Bolt on there, right? Um. Oh. There's a good. Pick. That's a good pick by DJ. He got swagger. He's played with him before. Crazy. In Round five. Can you imagine that party? Oh Jesus. Jesus Christ, round five. That's unbelievable. Dank, Love, and Mick Swagger are on the same team. So, look, Hugh Laurie, I mean, it's proven right there. You can get both of these guys on the same team. They're, they're, <laughs> and that'll be you next season, bub. That'll be you. But he'll, use them, he'll be using his first two picks on them. Yes, that's right. He will. You're a good sniper. Don't worry about it. All right, so who's up now? DJ, I gotta say, McSwagger in the fifth round is definitely a good pick. That's a great pick, That's a great honestly. Pick. That's unbelievable Pale, to get that kind of value there. Ability and then daily. Crazy. Crazy. Oh, 
Pal just picked Thug CTC, you good D man and goalie. Better D-man goalie slash than D-man, goalie. Think, but... Well, Pale has, well, Pale has, has, has goalies up the wazoo. Up the wazoo. <laughs> yeah, DJ, Ability, then Daily. Yeah. Yep. Well, Doug, Doug had a phenomenal season. I think was it like season one? Um, you know, and it's good to see him back, man. Good to see uh, a guy like Doug back in the league. Uh, you know, never emo. You know, always a great guy in the party too. Absolutely. I want to make a prediction here, but I don't because I don't want to be wrong. I had such a good Please. run with my predictions oh, early, on. early on. So who does DJ uh, ability daily? DJ need here, man. DJ's playing in that or what? What's he doing? He's got to be in that. If he plays in that, he's in he's in good place. If he doesn't, well, the, he's just down. He well, here's the thing. Good. I mean, he's got the he's got the option now. I mean, if he wanted to play D, if he sees a goalie on the board still no, there, he no, could no, do no, that. No, no, no. You know what I mean? DJ's a left DJ's a left D man. He has with Khalifa's left D, so he needs a right D man. Oh, DJ took a sniper. Sniper? I don't understand that. But sniper. Get the get the cowbell on that one, man. Who's his right D, though? Sniper, did you put goalie down? Wow. I don't hmm. know where he's going to have you playing. He's got four forwards. I guess you're on defense and maybe Wiz plays Well, well D? Sniper has willing D, though. So. Rome is right D? Don't fucking tell me that, DJ. <laughs> if he seriously does that, he just, he's just that captain immediately. We need to do a retroactive draft pause. Yeah. Oh Mbeg's already God. doing the, t- the team reviews, man. <laughs> oh, my God. If he's actually using... Dude, he's fucking seriously going to use Rome on D. Oh my god. Well, DJ just flushed his draft in the toilet. I mean, no, he's not bait. using Rome on D. Don't dude, take that bait. I'm just not... Look, dude, he said Wizard Center. Oh, he, you know, he's got Wizard Center and shit. Yeah, he's lying. Yeah. yeah. He, he, you're totally you're taking totally the bait. Nah, he's, he's lying. Nah, he's... Okay, so he's trolling. He just said, yeah. hey, can you tell me for the next three months about my picks? So I'll, I'll oblige. Ability just pick B, peaceful peaceful Bob. Peaceful Bob. Nice, right D. Nice man. I'm I'm glad peaceful Bob got drafted, man. Guys, bring the parties, man. And this guy, you know, we got great three picks left. So. We got we got daily, and then the, and then DC, and then daily. Yep. There's like a shit ton of guys out there still. Crazy. You see here. It's definitely crazy. AC's out there. Uh, Bubba <sighs> Man, who I know nothing at all about. The Rock's out there. Dude, you can't not draft the guy that made the fucking website. Come on, guys. Jesus Christ. Hollywood's out there. How about Johnny Blaze? Out there. Yambag, yeah. off the board. Welcome to the what? squad, Yam. <laughs> oh, dude, play that music again. Yeah, let me play it real quick. Oh, dude. Hold up. Uh, do you like it now? Oh, yeah, I love it, dude. Can I be Rudy? Dude, uh, you can be whoever you want to be. I mean, listen. Here on putting it in, man, this is this is the team to beat. And you already know these, this. These fucking moron captains let me fall to daily. They bit that bait unbelievable. so bad, it's unbelievable. What were they fucking Unreal, doing? isn't it? I thought it was obvious. In the captain chat, I kept saying, don't let me fall to daily, we're going to win the cup. So now they're going to deal nope. with me, you, and daily. Ugh, Stupid. Bad move on their part. They should have never done it. Yeah, has got to come on the show more often, man. That's how, that's how you mm-hmm. get the draft, man. <laughs> that's how you do it. I got to step outside for one second, guys. So carry the show. Oh, there you go. Oh, hold on. there's a pick. Uh, there's a pick I just saw, and I'm not supposed to. I'm sorry. Holly. There it Where, is. Where's the mu- Where's the music, the man? Where's the music? No, Holly didn't go to us, <laughs> did he? No, Holly oh, went to DC. Went to DC. Uh, and now we're down to Mr. Relevant. Oh, dude, you guys are in for such a nightmare of fucking shit talk. 
Uh, this is the last pick of round five, right? I'm going to go in the pool every season, man. Fuck. Uh, this is the last pick of the draft. From Daily. Yambag. I, I, now, Yambag, are you going to be playing right D? And is Daily playing wing? I have no idea. Is that, is that what's going on right now? No. If so, he's got to like, take Superstar. He's got to take Superstar here, I'll play man. Like, I'll play my oh, no. oh, no. He's going to take Rock. I can feel it. I don't know. I just feel it. Where's Rock going to play? Left wing? No, he's got Brick, Left right? D. Left D. How's Rock on left D? It's good. Dude, unless, unless he takes Carbonite? Amazing Viper. Right Let's be honest. I can't believe these names that are out there. I can't believe it. Like, this is the craziest, deepest draft I've ever seen. We should just make a team with the guys who went undrafted. Because honestly, there's good enough players out there to make a decent team. And then they win it all. And they win it all. Imagine. What? Yadamin. Wizzy War. Sober and off. Slow. Uh, so everyone yeah. undrafted. NJ Devil. Even the guy's spot, man. The method spot. Great defenseman, man. Maybe that's who Daly's looking at. I can't believe these names that are out there. I don't believe it. Dude, if Daly takes Mike, I'm going to fucking... My Xbox might snap. Actually, my headset is just snap as well. <laughs> Be nice. I think... Da Dude, I think Daly has a real dilemma on his hands right now. There are like... Oh, wait, this is the show, guys. isn't it? Shout out to Marie Mike. Yeah, no way. Mike. No way. Listen, dude. No, no. Uh, look, man, he's got a dilemma because there's a lot of there great are players. So huh? many good players right now, and he probably doesn't know what the fuck to do. You, and you, you, honestly, you, I don't know how many captains are taking a sixth guy in the optionals. I know I fucking would. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. Look Why at not? this draft. You yeah. have to. You Usually at this point in the draft, you're like you're you're trying to search for a guy, but I think it's the difference here for Daly. It's like, damn, there's like multiple guys to pick from, man. You know, so it's a bit different, man. Usually round this five, is, I'm like trying to find who the hell is maybe this guy could play D or this guy. No, there's there's spots open on every position still on that draft board. Dude, what is he doing? He's not going to take it. What's he doing? This is... The, the, I'm actually watching Captain's chat, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's like... They're just harassing him so much, it's incredible. A ACDC is still on the draft board, too, man. Another, he played... Uh, Defense oh, for sober enough. you know. Dude, play the music for sober, man. Let's get that tune again. Oh man, uh, Yambag, you might have to take my place on uh, the sober Lunas show, man. Friday night. <laughs> it's gonna be called the putting it in show because it's all putting it in players. Whoa, oh whoa. man. <laughs> Sober enough. So he went from uh, number three overall <laughs> to number 60. Uh, season five, man. Crazy. That was a scoring champ one of the seasons, man. Dude, there's still a ton of guys out there, man. Oh, yeah. AC, well, the... Viper, Thompson. Well, last season we saw you know, this, this uh, sixth position, man. Big part, Bessie. man. Uh, both of the teams that went in the finals, you know, uh, used their six spot guy. So, yep. You know, and there's, yep. there's and still I a lot a of feeling... big names. A lot See, of big names, season, man. It... This season Legions, might be different, Legions man, out because there. Legion's out there. Holy shit. ACDC. ACDC's he's out a, there, he's man. He's a good party president. There goes Viper. Okay, oh, Viper's the finally. first wow. round six. That's crazy. I mean, I know we keep saying uh, it over and over again, but like these uh, names. Do not belong in these rounds. It's it's I don't know. It's uh it's almost disheartening, honestly. Like it's just silly. Just silly. Yeah. Well, we knew this was gonna happen, man. I mean, it it just I mean with the numbers, uh, I had to. 
And, yeah. you know, uh, not that the guys that have been drafted so far are, are any slouches, man, or, you know, uh, stretch picks, man. I mean, um, you look at these uh, rosters, look like at the teams, man. You know, it's just there's so many quality guys on this draft pool. Yeah. And, you know, going forward, we hope this isn't a thing again. You know, um, it just was last minute signups from another league, man, and this shit's what it was. So uh, going forward, you won't see this happen again, which is a good thing. But um, talk about sober really quick. Third overall to Mr. Irrelevant, and I bet you he's loving it. He's loving it. He's going to. How can you not? <laughs> I t- look at the team. I- Yam, look at it. I, I told Yam, yeah, man, he's. he's- it's got to be Yam, you, and Sober on Friday night show, man. Do we need to bring Put you on? <laughs> Good lord. Yep. What I just got a funny message from Swagger. He won't mind if I say it on if I say it on the air. Should I say it on the air? It's too late. I've already. Did What's I get up? Out of the captain's chat. Did you? Uh, well, you're not a captain, and they're probably super emo. Swagger says, yeah, can emo, confirm, you know, super you know, butthurt, but very thankful. Swagger's thankful, man. Oh, He's thankful to be on a yeah. squad. You were never not going to make it on a squad, Swagger. There he goes. There he goes. Green Mike. Yes. Where's Mike the music, man? Where's customs. the music for Marine no, Mike, No, he goes man. to... Yeah. <laughs> well, well, he's not on, the... not on putting it in, bud. Oh, we got to have something for him, Marine Mike. I don't got nothing for him. He's not on my team, and I could give a fuck left. But congratulations, Marine Mike. You're in, bud. He's on your team. I like that. You know, I like that pick, man. I like that pick because, I mean, especially with my availability, too, as well. You know, Mm -hmm. and, you know, and Marine Mike could play anywhere, man. So. And, yep. And by the way, I just want to throw this out there to people who don't know Marine Mike, he is legit in net. He's legit. Mm-hmm. We were we were watching well, him dude, play the other I night. Played, well, I played two games with him, and it was a complete train wreck. He was like <laughs> diving across the net. Dude, you know well, what? You... People make you, you like me, you hate me. You know I'm not gonna fucking lie to you. He was a fucking shit show in net. He's fun on four. Well, we saw otherwise. Me. It was a mess. And people said he was Wait. good. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh. Well, here's the thing. I still Marie love Mike you, Mike. Used to... Marine Mike used to be called Human Typhoon, man. It was Human Typhoon. He was goalie, man. That's what he was, man. That's what he was known for, you know? So Dude, humans, you know, he's going you know back to the do? roots. Dude, there was another guy he was buddies with when he joined the other league we, we recruited him at. And that dude would play twos all fucking day in our club. We would come home, and there would be, like, three wins and, like, 97 losses. It was hysterical. And he would, like, G-chat us every time they won a game. It was, it was amazing. The guy's dedication was just off the charts. Mike's great, but holy shit. Yeah, no, man, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so, Pale Polner on the clock, man, for his optional round. OP Jelly still out there? Legion still out there? Ninja Gaiden. Uh. And we haven't seen that name in a long time, man. Ninja Gaiden, man. He would I rage mean, hard, man. He was a yeah. rager. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, he's known to put pucks in the net, though, man. Definitely, uh, you know. Uh, but we'll see, man. We'll see. I mean, times have changed, uh, you know. But to see some of these uh, familiar names back in the draft pool. Hey, just, and, uh, just being drafted. put it out there. Just to put it out there, we we got 84 viewers still. So 84 people are watching the fucking optional around, dude. That that's a dedicated fan base right there, man. Shout out to you guys that are still tuned in. I usually get emails and punch out after the last pick of the regular draft. Yeah, well, look, it's it's 10:24 and we're we're almost done with this, man, which is crazy. This is you know? crazy. Yeah. Actually, you know what they really want to hear? 12 teams. I saw you there. Esso, where'd you go? Did he leave us? I don't know. I haven't heard Esso for a while, oh, man. Oh, man. I think he took <laughs> off. He might have bailed. He said, he said uh, fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> you know. Uh, 
know. Let's see who's uh, out there. I mean, still, there's some new guys out there. I like this pick by okay. Agent, man. Agent going with Figo. You know, I know he's part time. You know, but at the place here, optional round, not a bad pick at all, man. He, I, that's a very good pick as an optional. You just throw him in there when he's around, and that's it. He's a stud mm, forward. He's he's a first second round forward if he's full time. I mean, a couple of forwards still on there, man. Op Jelly, man. Op Jelly's on there, man. Uh, Johnny Blaze, you know. Um, yeah. Dusty, uh, Yeti Killer, you know, just to name a few. ACDC, <laughs> but um, oh, AC's there. Yeah, I don't know where. It, how can you not take AC, man? See, see, personally, for me, when it gets to this part of the draft, you take guys you can count on. Like AC's a guy you can count on. Thompson's a guy you can count on. Uh, Saint Four Twenty's a guy you can count on. Dusty. You want somebody, like, because if, if you're using these guys, it means that somebody didn't show up. So you got to have somebody you can rely on. And, and those guys, they're definitely guys I'm taking. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. Absolutely. I mean, The Rock, you know, um, it's quite a few, man. <laughs> you know, so even with the option around here, man. Legion, oh, got I mean. The Rock, The Rock getting picked, dude. I'm picking the rock man. and asking him to make. I'm asking him to take. I'm. I'm going to take the rock and ask him to make a website just for my write-ups. <laughs> you think Dom Silva takes low <laughs> with his option round? No, he'll trade for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Legion's off yeah. the board. Wait, I think Johnny Blaze. Johnny I... Blaze went off for DJ. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, Johnny Blaze went to uh, DJ's team. That's a good pick, man. John, Johnny Blaze, man. I mean, that's another guy that's played both center, defense, you know. Sorry, guys. I don't, I don't, know, if he's, I don't, know, if he's, I don't know if he still plays that broadcast cam, but, you know, <laughs> there he yeah, goes. Uh, I, just, I just pointed out that we're in the optional round, and we got 86 viewers tuned in right now. And you know what I think they're here for? Me? I think I think you know no, I think you know what. <laughs> I think they uh, want to hear it again. Oh yeah, you know what? <laughs> That's probably That's true. That's probably it. Let me, it's been a couple minutes. Let me just hit it's it really quick. Round, it's been a few minutes. Be it's funny because a little while ago you were shitting on this, and now you're kind of loving. Oh, I was. Let me change it up a little bit though. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. All right, we're gonna go with the different. <laughs> go with the different. different. Oh, that's like the that's like later in this show. Oh, that's like season six, seven. That was like the last seven. few seasons. Yeah, that's where they're dancing and stuff. Rudy's a little bit older. Yeah, Felicia Rashad's getting her that groove one on right now. Good. The other one sounds better, though, to be honest with you. Yeah, I like the other one. Maybe we should hit that up real quick. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, an ad? Oh, I just got hit with an ad. Oh, <laughs> well, got a pony out, let me, man. Let me, let me uh, get... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Hollywood. We have business to attend to here. I was supposed to be here. Uh, the Rock is taken by uh, D-Mart. Yeah, a couple picks, man. Dom Silva taking Legion. D-Mart going with The Rock. And uh, Shock getting Crazy Yetta Killer. So, Damn. Uh, yeah. Damn. Oh. That's Did interesting, man. Because cause, uh, cause, uh, I thought he was going to... I'm gonna... taking AC over Yeti, to be honest with you. I thought he was going to go to uh, Chew Therapy Rock. That's where I thought he was going to go. Uh, you know who goes there? Dusty goes to Chew Therapy, pick 69. Yeah, I feel like Rock was just taken right in front of his face. I mean, look at his optional round, man. I mean, Viper, you had Figo, uh, Marine Mike, uh, Dusty. Crazy. Rock, Crazy round. Legion, you, can, you, know, so. you, can take a, you can take a full team here. You can you can take a full team here, easily. Legion in net, the Rock on D, Dusty at center, Figo on the wing, Viper on wing, AC on wing. Yep. No, uh, 
Oh, to answer your question, Hollywood, no. <laughs> I didn't bail, but uh, see, just to keep this between me, you and the viewers here, the wife came home and I really don't want to deal with her listening to her telling me I'm doing another gay show. So I just kind of, <laughs> we just kind of brushed over that. Sorry, right, we've all been there. Ugh. Ugh. Well, so it's quick, man, 1030 and we're pretty much done, man. That's uh pretty impressive. I mean, these captains, every captain involved, man. Great job. Oh, did AC go? AC went to uh, Marty's team. AC, dude. Oh man, wow, that's interesting. AC's with Marty. AC's I like it. AC to Wizzy War and AC to Marty. Yeah. So X to the D to the A to the L to the Y. Number 72 here, man. Who's he going with? Uh, so who do you guys like most? <laughs> Hold on. What? Well, I mean, let's be honest. Other than our team, who do you like most, Esso? <laughs> I mean, do I need to play after it that, again? After that, later on, a couple minutes. Who, who do you after, like that, man? after that, man. A lot of good teams, I really, here, man. I know. I really like what DC did. To be honest with you, um, I mean, he, people call you might want to call it safe picks or whatever. No, he he took the best available players. I think. Um, now let's see if there's enough puck for everyone out there. You know, usually when you get a lot of high end talent like that, Whoa, sometimes that can be a problem. Oh, it disappeared. What the hell? Well, I have a good memory, Put so that back, we're good. Please. Oh, thank you, sir. I actually like Dom's team. So here's the, here's the last pick, picks. man. Last pick. X Daily, like watch Dom's your finish. back, 360. I don't know who that is. Okay, I don't know who that is, but we can play him the Cosby song if you'd like. I, th I think he recommended, uh, I think he was referred by uh, Daily. Well, Vi Viper, bro. Yeah, no, he's referred by Viper. Oh. Viper. Lefty primary. So, um, you know what? I'm gonna say um, who took Pogs? Who was that again? I'm sorry, I, my shit's like small. Agent. Hell, that's actually I like that team. Agent, agent took uh, Pogs. Uh, I like uh, who's DID? Who took late late the lamp first? I'm sorry, I don't know his abbreviations yet. What team are you on, Hollywood? Desired Customs, man. Desired Customs. I like his picks. I like his picks a lot, actually. As long as, it, as long as they work well together. Atri and Murph are, are flammable guys. And Lamp got a little email. You know, Lamp likes to curse our kids on FIFA or some shit. So, you gotta watch out for that. There's, to be honest with you, there's a lot of parity. I like McGill's yeah. team a lot. But McGill always drafts a good team and then drops a deuce. You know what I like? I'm looking at this. I mean, obviously, DMART's a given. He built a great team. Marty. Marty. People are gonna have fits trying to score on that team. C do B Crips Marty himself. Score? Nah. Oh man, you're gonna, you're gonna have, have a hard offense. time scoring on them. I like I like McGill's team. McGill might be my third favorite team. Lime's a really good goalie. These guys are really good. I don't know. Yeah. The people are in here like I'm on waivers this season. Who's Lapore? Who are you, dude? I'm not sure. Can we get a list? Do you have a list of... Uh, see, I don't have any of that stuff up. Who, who did what not you, get drafted? Uh, it's somebody in... It's somebody... Well, OP yeah, I got, didn't get uh, drafted. Yeah, yeah. Um, some guy, Lepore14, said, Rocking waivers this season. I don't, who are you, dude? Use your gamer tag. We can't mention you. And some of the guys, the Yadamin, dude, there was there was nonsense with Yadamin not even being in the pool. He didn't get drafted. Thanks for showing yeah. up. Uh, let's see here. Who else? Slow. Saint four twenty. He's a good dude. Slow. OP Jelly's a good wow. dude. Superstar when I'm drafted. OP Jelly. How in the world? That's crazy. Bubba Man. Uh, uh, Demented Spud. Spud. Fuck man. There's some names out there. I mean, I, I know. It's the part of the draft that sucks and, in, in this format the way MJ it was Devil. this year. Man. Oh, hockey's awesome. Hockey's awesome. Is is a uh, undrafted. I didn't play with him, so I don't, I don't see him. Thompson, anybody. Thompson, man. man. We could legitimately make a team based off the guys that went undrafted, to be honest with you. Crazy. Expansion well, team, maybe you guys what can... do you think? Should we do an expansion team or what? 
Oh man, I don't know. I'll be thirteen. Thirteen's usually not a good number, man. Yeah, whatever. You gotta take a risk, you know. That would be probably a decent team with those freaking names too. How does OP tell you? I mean, they definitely got they definitely got positions to fill. You know what I mean? As far as like uh, every position, like, you know, the hold wingers. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yada mean is a left cool. winger. Devils. Yeah, is OP Jelly's a center. OP Jelly's a center. Saint can yeah. play center and he can play wing. Yeah. Slow, you could put uh, anywhere. It's low plays anywhere. Yeah. Joe or the superstar can play D and goalie. Yeah. You can definitely make a team. Ooh, oh man. It's something for you admins something to talk about. I have nothing to do with this, but um, I thought you were an admin. I thought you were an admin. No, I'm not. Fuck off. He is an admin. This, the one thing I'll say: admin. if I had a vote, I would vote for it. Because I don't know. I'm not a I know, And I guarantee you that back in the admin chat, they'd be like, "Ugh, you can't do that for these reasons." Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Well, you, you know guys what? Just hate uh, fun. Know so I don't know. We'll see. Esso, we've had in in prior leagues where we had the same situation. We did make an expansion team. And I will say the expansion, we did it two times. And I think between the two of them, they won one series. But they did get to well, play. Yeah. And there were some competitive games. Yeah, I see there's an <laughs> optional seventh round right now. Is that, is that right? Yeah, there's not. The sixth round was optional. No, sixth. I don't know. I see on, on the draft full results, it's on the, the actual Excel sheet, it says... Opt seven, opt seventy three pick. Yeah, you're Next crazy. Daily, no yeah, pick. no. Oh, uh, jelly would run I don't one. think you can do that. I, I think it's on there, man. The, Did the, you say the, the spreadsheet? Crazy. You guys on the spreadsheet on the draft five, season five draft results? You know, what, I you know, let me ask something here because it seems like a bunch of people know this guy. So I guess I'll hold on for home flame. I'm going to ask, who's this bacon country guy? Do you, either of you guys know him? Yeah, he's a YouTuber. Why? Is he? He was, he was in our chat. He was uh, checking it out, and uh, I don't know who who's Bacon Jet or Bacon Country. I don't Bacon know Country's guy. a famous. He's like a famous NHL YouTuber, dude. He does a lot of hut. Um, he's oh, very really? well known oh, really? in the hut community. Yeah, he's like the number one hut player in the world. But I had a feeling. I thought Bacon Country was a PlayStation guy. Pretty I think sure. he is. Because he he asked yeah. if we were on PlayStation, and we we said no, we're on Xbox, but. That's pretty cool, man. Shout out to Bacon Country for Shout out to in. Bacon Country, man. If you never watched his videos, out, um, he he's really one of a kind, man. He's uh, he does a lot of uh, uh how tos. Like he he shows everyone, you know, hey, look, have you been getting scored on like this? This is why it's happening, and uh, this is how you do it to combat it. And uh, he's really he's really cool like that. He's uh, partnered up with EA Sports, and they give him lots of stuff. Free packs. He does pack openings and stuff. Wow, dude. Um, yeah, he's a big YouTuber, so that's a big shout out. That's to, pretty uh, awesome. It's pretty yeah. cool that he popped in. So thanks for popping in, man. If you're listening. Jesus, I thought you guys thought these guys are trolling me. Everyone's like, "Oh, hey, what's up, Bacon?" I'm like, "Who's this fucking guy?" But Jesus, he's like a pretty big name, so. He is the fucking name, actually. Guy. I mean, it's like him. <laughs> there's a like, uh, Bacon Country and Don't Be Sad. Those are the two, uh, like the biggest names out there as far as streaming. Guy. Yeah. Yep. To be fair, I don't play HUD at all. Like, honestly, yeah. ever since EASHL came out, I've never touched fucking Versus ever. I think I played Versus one time with my brother when I visited him, and it's like because I couldn't play ESHL. So I was like, right. fuck it, let's just play this and rip up on some fucking noobs on, on Versus. And we took the flyers to get our dicks pushed in, so that's how that works. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, you guys ready to wrap this up, or, I mean... Much yeah, well, I mean, we can wrap this up. Listen, I just want to say thank you to Sniper, man. What a great job he did with the draft board. Um, thanks to everybody for tuning in. Fuck, we had over 90 viewers at one point. That's insane. Um, we had over 100. Oh, over 100. Oh. Jesus. I mean, the league's only 100 deep, so if you think about it, that's uh, that's really cool. Um, so really appreciate you guys stopping in. Um, look, I just want to throw it out there. I am all for that expansion team. I just throwing that out there. I mean, I know some people well, are probably gonna hate it, but that's my. As an opinion. admin, you got a voice. You got a voice as an you admin. You know what? <laughs> you, want, you want me to be an admin? <laughs> fucking make that expansion team. Make it happen, guys. Back there in the admin thread, sniper, fucking Hugh Laurie, ball bag yourself, fucking all you fucks. And Hugh Laurie, hey, I'll tell you what, Hugh Laurie, listening? You fucking schlep. I went third overall. Okay, now. I'm gonna let you off the hook. Make this expansion team happen, and you're off the hook. 
No, you don't have to dra draft Dank and Swagger with your first and second pick next year. That's that's my offer. You heard it here. Just throwing it out. Well, we'll discuss it. We'll, we'll discuss. I'm not opposed to it. I mean, as long as these guys know that they're all. I mean, it, again, it, it's just no disrespect to those guys, but they're all guys that were undrafted. So they probably the odds of them doing well aren't good. But you know, at least they can well, hold be on up. the team. And well, hold up. Hold up. Because uh, let me just say, superstar has been playing insane net. So I've been told his numbers are insane. If you go look at his numbers, playing sixes and net. So there's that. So there's your goalie. Op Jelly is a well, really good center, dude. There, that's a good core I'm just right there. I'm just, I'm just Look. saying that these guys should be prepared to not do well. If they do well, that's great. That's, it's good for the league because it shows how much depth we have. Yeah. But if they lose, we don't want guys that are going to say, oh, let's do an expansion team, and then they quickly get they get swept three series in a row. You know what I mean? Like. Well, that's something that, you know, I, I, yeah, I understand that. I hear you. And, Holly, I mean, what do you think, man, before we wrap it up? Uh, you think that's something that could be talked about with these guys if they decided to go down that road? Well, here's the thing. I mean, there's, you know, goalies. NJ Devil's still on the board. Uh, there's a guy, oh, Saint. God, NJ Devil's on the board. Jeez, Saints know to. Uh, been, Saints has been a captain in, in leagues, not not just this league, other leagues as well. So I mean, he's got that in the background. But um, yeah, no, it's it, it's tough. I mean, you know, I mean. Uh, that wrong I heard was a pretty good hockey awesome played one of these seasons. Oh my he had a breakout God, dead wrong. season. Yeah. So, yeah. so so I mean the, the the talent's definitely there, you know what I mean? But I mean how competitive is the team's gonna be? I mean an expansion team I mean you look at the expansion team, it's like it's like NHL. When you bring an expansion team, it, it's it's hard for that team to be good, you know what I mean? Unless you're like NFL that you're the Jaguars or something. I don't know. Uh, but you know, um, I don't know. There's it's, a lot of I mean, it's got it's, it's got its negatives and it's got its positives. You know. Yeah. But, but the other thing, interested. also, you want to have waivers too. You know what I mean? That's the yeah. Thing. Is it, I agree. If it, you put this, let's say you put this team together, are you still going to have waivers? Because how many guys know, went undrafted? Yeah. But a lot of the guys no, that got drafted, there, there's how really many? not much part-time guys. Uh, how many oh, guys got drafted four, in total? Five, six, no, how many guys got seven. went undrafted? Eight, Nineteen guys got undrafted. I think okay, three or you, four were part time. Okay, great. Well, you could definitely put together a team of uh, six or seven, and then have still plenty of waivers. So, but again, it would be a lot of work and. Yeah. No, I mean, I, 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 I mean, guys like Zlo, you know, what I mean, Yana, I mean, Silk, you know, I mean, guys that have played in the uh, season. Like, it, it's hard to see those guys not being drafted, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, we that's knew the this only would reason, like, I'm uh, leaning towards that way. But yeah, it's got to say it's positive and negative. So, I mean, definitely something to discuss. When does the season start? Does it start next week or what? Usually, that's how uh, that works. I mean, next Sunday we'll or what? We'll see. Yeah. You know, I'm just looking forward to uh, tomorrow, man. I can't wait to see the rosters posted. Uh, see Yambags, gems, and turds on there. You know what I mean? Uh, the other I, uh, that's a daily point thing, there. Man, my captain. You know, I gotta uh, behave. My captain, the, man. <laughs> seeing the uh, draft prediction, the, uh, the prediction on the teams. You know, those are I'm looking forward this week, man. We got a lot of shows, man. A lot of new shows. Two, three, nine tonight. You know. The uh, East Over Elitist, the Throwdowns, man. Uh, that's all happening this week. Yep. yep. All right, guys, again, uh, we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you very much to everybody that made this thing possible, to the captains that did a good job. Um, they had this shit done and wrapped up in about an hour and a half, so um, you can't Sniper. beat it. It was a great night, good showing. Sniper killed it, as usual. Um, Rock with the draft just killed it. Um that's it, man. That's all I got. And we'll, uh, I'll see you guys on Friday with Holly. Fri Holly? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. We still got 42 viewers. The draft's literally over. We're shooting the shit, and there's 42 people still watching us. So shout out to you guys for, you know, being dedicated to the league and staying tuned in and listening to our fucking half-sober asses talk. Um, just keep in mind, putting it in, uh, belt's going to get sent around in a little while, oh, a couple months around. It's going to be so good. Um, so the belt's going to say take boys, a boys, boys, then putting, and then putting it, it in. in. And I'm going to take a naked picture so with good. the belt just to put it out there.
you can lock it in. Um, well, you're not the captain. That's all I got. <laughs> Um, dude, I'm an admin, so I'll get the belt, but if we win. Okay, that. you're going to get the belt. Okay, well, you can take that up with X to the D to the A to the L to the Y. We'll discuss. We're signing we'll discuss. off, boys. So We're signing off. Hey, Flynn, you got anything else before we go, or what, man? You're the no, I'm just saying, if the, belt, if the belt stays with Delhi, that saves us some of our shipping, right? But, uh, hey, yeah. man. I mean, some of these some of these teams, some of these names might be look good on paper, man, but... We're gonna see. We're gonna find out, man. That all happens. That's why you, know, you play the game. Season's gonna start. We're gonna get the schedules up on there, man. So good luck to everybody. Great job to all the captains uh, this draft, man. Ran smooth. I mean, 10:45. We were done like 10:30, I think, with this. So yeah, we uh, just great yeah, job with that. Since then, you know. Well, that's it, Beautiful. man. That's it. I'm out. I'm done. See you later, guys. Have a good one.